Ready to start? Hmm. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I've been outside oh. working, so I am ready, ready to be inside now for a little bit. Anything in, anything unusual anybody's got going? I was interviewed for three hours today. By who? By a Purdue University uh, researcher in, in the sociology department. They want to figure they, you out, huh? I had a sign, <laughs> I had to sign this document, you know, that I would participate in the study and all the things I had to know. I was able to end it whenever I wanted. They'll destroy the information, no personal information. But the thing that was like, they scheduled three hours. Like, There's no way this is going to be three hours. It went three hours. A lot of in-depth questions. But what kinds of stuff did they ask without telling us? Because it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a research study by this uh, team that's interested in finding out what the experience of people who help other people who are stigmatized is. So uh, since we're covering from, they reached out to a lot of groups that do these things and recovering from religion, you know, are the volunteers here help people leaving a religion and a lot of people don't want to hear about that. So it's basically interviewing the volunteers about why they do this and what they go through, what they've been through regarding, you know, being stigmatized or discrim discriminated against that kind of a thing. Like another example might be people who help people who've uh, had a prison sentence and, and get returned to society and have trouble readapting and there's groups of people that help them. So this would this would interview the, those groups of people that try to help those people. It's, so That seems like an odd thing to say. Why are you helping when it's kind of obvious why you're helping? Because you like to help people and you think you have experience. Yeah, but I mean, but people who, well, they deserve it. They left religion in this case. Like, what the hell? Just tell them to come back. You know, you know that that's the kind of thing, you know, if you talk about this and you're in a religious community, even though you're just helping people leave a religion, if that's what they want to do, it's not looked about unkindly. Kindly. So anyway, that's the research project. Three freaking hours. I didn't think it was really going to last half of that. And it went three hours. Uh, but it was interesting. It's not like one of these Zoom recordings that gets saved like Vincent we're recording now. He was recording it. But the, <laughs> the, the rules are they're just going to do a text transcript. All personal identification will be removed. The, the recording is going to be deleted. I mean, I personally don't care because it wouldn't matter if anything I said came out. But there are some people who it would matter to. I like uh, I like the way my group was like, what? What the hell does Rob mean by that? Which which one? What, what? Uh, the, when you said, "Oh, you're you're gonna remind us of like we're being recorded or something like that," and it's like, uh... "Oh yeah, <laughs> yes." And, and then and, my group was like, "What? What the hell does he mean?" Right, right. Or so yeah. So so the the uh, Rocky Mountain Atheist are meeting, and I'm doing the webinar, and and the recording goes. I said, "Vincent, aren't you going to say something?" And they were going, "Why would you ask him that?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny myself, but it's like, no. it is kind so, of funny. So I, that I, I was me, there when he said that. It tells me you don't do that anywhere but here. That's interesting. I love it. Oh, oh. <laughs> zing! Hey, what is that about face? Um, what I just saw a thing pop up. So That's my nephew texted me video. last night. He apparently was searching through YouTube Shorts. And said, oh, my God, this person looks like you. Is it you? And I opened up the video and looked at it. And our skeptics group had gotten Zoom bombed a couple months back. And they were taking reaction videos. And somebody basically created a superimposed viral video with people reacting to some guy making inappropriate comments overlaying a video game. And I'm like in there for two or three seconds saying That's report exciting. them and the the context of the video is not anything a 14 year old needs to be reading but or hearing but yeah i'm i'm in i apparently has over a million views on youtube and almost two million on tiktok oh my god <laughs> what is the point I of this? I don't understand. Hmm. huh it, they they went into your zoom they go into that? What they what I think that they do is they go into Zoom meetings to Zoom bomb people to get facial expressions and reactions. And then what they'll do is go in and take a harmless video of somebody playing a video game and then somebody giving commentary about something that's inappropriate or funny and act like the people that are in the Zoom bomb videos were Zoom bomb with this type of content, which that wasn't the case. And the point is Fake news. 
It it just was funny, and I had to explain to my nephew this is manufactured entertainment, and this is really weird. And also, I feel really weird about actually being incognito viral, and that nobody really knows it. Yeah. And yeah, you know, to have your nephew text you in all caps, going, "Oh my God, I swear this is you," <laughs> was actually pretty cool. So, so if they happen to much less likely, but that they happen to come across my article that was released yesterday with a link to the video where we were zoom bombed. You're in that one too. So mm -hmm. that, that video is out there. So should we be zoom bombed right now? Like, oh, and somebody be here, like you would know they're here, right? Yeah. And I was also thinking too, did we record this video and upload it where somebody just took stills from it? Mm. Yeah, they could have recorded. They could just take this from the internet. Hi, Ron. Mm -hmm. And they could just. Oh my God! Fake, tell We're somebody being zoom bombed by Ron. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so what I want to know is, how did your nephew find it? Seems very YouTube, inappropriate. He was scrolling YouTube Shorts, and the algorithm decided. Sure. Yeah. Just happened to have your his auntie in it, huh? <clears throat> well, I I think. It was just like because it was about video games, like acting like it's video game commentary and reactionatory stuff that's probably catered to his demographic. Oh my God, I'm watching this now. It flashes between views so quickly, I can't follow anything. So this is targeting yeah. people with a short attention span, like really young people. Wow. And I, what I thought was funny about it, because I showed it to my friends, and I was like, Ramiro sitting right next to me, and nobody noticed he was in it. They didn't care. <laughs> he was I saw like, you two guys together. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get nobody's on the screen. I'm counting here for more than two seconds. Most of them are one second. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Faith does do this thing with her hand and cut and laughs. That that was it. You're gonna be famous for the rest of your life as the woman who I know I need my royal laugh. It's gonna be in beams everywhere. It'll, it'll be you, double rainbow, and chocolate rain. Who are they? Oh, don't ask, don't tell me. They're viral videos, chocolate rain. Uh, viral videos of yesteryear. Yeah. Oh, oh, chocolate okay. rain. I moved my face away against from the mic to breathe. Don't know that one. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Seems like I just saw you. Same with Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Susan. Did I just see you? You look familiar. Yeah, I have this hat, <laughs> I think, too. Hi, Ellen. Seems like I just saw you guys somewhere. I don't know. No, I was wondering where you went off to. I haven't, I haven't seen you in the past couple of days. <laughs> it's been a whole two days. Yeah. Time passes fast, I tell you. Thank you for the cute video you sent. That was hilarious. What cute video are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Super secret one saying hi to me. I think you got the politest one, Darlin. Oh. <laughs> Everybody else got rude ones. Well, I appreciate it either way. <laughs> <laughs> we were nice. In your case, we said, hmm, what are we going to say to what are we going to say to Carolyn? I don't know. And then we kind of ran out of steam when we kind of ran out of things to say. Not that we ever had anything to say. But anyway. It's it's been it was quite interesting. I never have anything to say, but I say it anyways. <laughs> we look forward to what you not say every week. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to you tell oh, oh, oh well, oh. tonight <laughs> should be interesting. Then, <laughs> hey Kyle, happy birthday! Hey, hey. It's your birthday. Good evening. Still is his birthday, birthday every week. Always his birthday. What? That's so yes. cool. Every week. It's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. What am I missing here? Why is it Kyle's birthday every week? Because well, he, he has at the background. background there, it's your birthday, the sign there. Oh, that's saying it's my birthday. Yeah. Well, sure. I'm, saying it's your well, birthday, I'm just so repeating it's it. Birthday. It would say it's, it's my birthday. birthday. My birthday is next week, April 3rd. He's just you're just saying that because you want somebody you want us to sing to you. No, it really is April 3rd. Next oh, okay. Week. 
Yeah. All right. Well, so we're, record, we're, we're, we're recording. Don't give your social security number or you're you're dead. You're dead. Could you just Happy gave early birthday? The early birthday. Thank you. We get early birthdays. Yeah, take a guess at how old I'm turning. Oh, 56. Uh, 29 yeah. again. Ah. <laughs> uh, 52. Oh, actually, oh. Susan was close. I'm turning. Oh, 50. really? I just grabbed a number. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm turning 52. Oh, okay. A child. A child? Yeah. Oh, pretty soon I'm going to need a cane. I vaguely remember 52. I don't at all. No. Don't. Sounds like you had a good 52. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 52. So who's up for categories today, Susan? Mono start. <laughs> Then you, then Gail, then Vincent, and then Kevin. I did. Oh, you had right. me last. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna put me first or second. No, you gotta request it. Those are coveted spots. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> for what I'm doing tonight, I hope I don't disturb people next door. What? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Bill. We haven't seen Bill. I'm so scared. <laughs> so Vince nervous. Vince is planning and playing the 1812 Overture with actual cannon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be something. Identify the artillery by its sound. <laughs> yeah. well, gee, I did attend a uh, 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 one with actual cannon, uh, an, an, outdoor th an outdoor performance. <laughs> hey, look, it's Bill. Hey, hey Bill, welcome back. Been gone for ages. No, Who's just back. Like but, four weeks. Four weeks? No, it's three weeks. It's been three weeks. Two. Two weeks. One of the weeks, the first week you missed was the I was supposed category. To, I know. I uh, <laughs> that, uh, that was that was the day uh, Comcast decided to disconnect me. Well. Sounds like uh, a personal yeah. problem. And I had and I had no method of telling you what had happened to me. I didn't even get a telepathic message. I'm really disappointed. I am so sincerely sorry about that. Well, everybody oh. else was like, cool, we get out of here early. Uh, that was pretty funny. I was like, uh, oh, well, we can find somebody else. And they're like, no, you know what? It's it's okay to take an early day. <laughs> well, anyway, and then the last time I yeah, you know, my sister's uh, wedding anniversary. She at last minute said, "Hey, we're having a party celebrating." Oh, and, that's uh, sweet. Hi, Brandy. Hello. Hello. Did you move? Not yet. Well, I've moved You're from packing. my library. You're yeah, packing. packing. Stuff. Okay, <clears throat> that's what I said. Wait a minute. What's this post about her moving? Yeah, it will be soon. The cat's moving. Something about the cat finding a box or a dog. What was it? Your cat? My dog. My dog seems very upset already about the move, and we haven't even moved yet. Oh. Uh, been packing, uh, contact right? Rupert Sheldrake. <laughs> Rupert Sheldrake? Dog, dog has ESP. Rupert. That's his thing. Dogs know. Dogs. Uh, he believes dogs have ESP. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, dogs know when you're coming home and all that stuff. So clearly they know when you're going to move. So, yeah. Dogs have as much ESP as anything else. That's yeah, true. that's probably true. Hi, Janine. Well, I'm sure Rupert Sheldrake believes that, too. Wendy. Gosh, it feels like I haven't seen you in 30 years or something. Yeah, and it's only been probably 30 hours. So oh, no, a few days. Hard Hi. To say. And Jane. Hi. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wouldn't you guys yeah, can't have have so no clue fun it was wild it was like party all the time <laughs> party out of bounds by the b-52s so how everything. many people showed up about 25 ish oh no i don't i don't think it's that many well um, some were we, we never had more than 20 people there but some people were there when and then they left and other people showed up so i think individual people is about 25 right and i had kind of considered 
you know, I was disappointed that it wasn't more like the one in Monterey where there was a big audience, but the actual rules of skeptic camp, such as they are, I mean, like the goal of it is for people giving a presentation to give that, you know, that presentation in an, um, in a skeptic camp to of you know to other people that everybody there is supposed to be giving presentations for each other and exactly. so yeah um um and so it kind of was um like that instead of having a bigger audience like a convention that's how i've been thinking of it is that it's that it's different from a you know a convention or you know like a oh. skepticon or tam where there were a few presenters, they were all or mostly, except for the Sunday presentations, um, um, big stars in the skepticism movement. And the rest of us were just, you know, run of the mill skeptics interested in what we're talking about. And um, I, For my next trick, <laughs> maybe we'll have an LA convention more. I don't know. Or you just build, you build up to that, and Skeptic Camp is supposed to be, I think, oh. getting your your okay. getting the people who are already know what skepticism is, people who are on your meetup groups, your Facebook groups, your drinking skeptically stuff, to show up. That's what Skeptic Camp is is about. The people who already know what it is, they and then showing off the stuff they know and and doing little talks. Some of the people very nervous and and then and then eventually you then you really do a lot more outreach. That kind right. of thing. and what what Paula was sure of was that because it was so easy to put this Skeptic Camp together, we it didn't take a lot of time, including not enough lead time to do that public outreach yeah well it was okay it was fine we had a great time it was a quality same as mine it was the quality of the speakers the quality of the people who showed up i just wish adrian had a good time and all the pictures she never smiled never laughed <laughs> hi mono hi. you're up first you know that right yep yeah oh, i'm sad goodness. i wasn't there it looked like a good event Morning. it was a blast I mean, my goodness. Oh, the pictures. We have, wait till you see the quality of the videos. They were incredibly good. Well, I don't know if the quality of the videos were good, but the talks were so good. Well, right. I haven't seen, I mean, as far as I know, Emery hasn't finished that yet. I think I would know it. Isn't Heather working on it? I think Heather is in a position to persuade him to get to get <laughs> if all else falls i'll do it <laughs> but he's but i mean he was we had we'll do a we far did. better job than i would no yours are fine no, no videos he he knows he does that stuff i'm he's a video editor i'm just a person who just hits publish <laughs> it was yours were perfect especially the one of me but um <laughs> <laughs> but I, um i was I was enchanted with the how easy it seemed. It was really, I mean, Susan said, hey, you can do this. And she was right, you know. Hey, she, I was right. You, what are you the were, odds of that? <laughs> you were. Depends on the subject. You. I was copying you as yes, Jamie, for the way. Yes, Jamie, you've got a category, you betcha. You okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I have Celio on here for some reason for both weeks, and I think it's only supposed to be one of the weeks. Oh, I, have I, I have to drop Facebook. I have to drop Facebook. This is like the second weekend in a row now. I'm going to have a convention or conference envy. First, you guys are all there, and now uh, all of my atheist and humanist friends are meeting in Philadelphia for the uh, annual uh, atheist conference. I saw I'm, that. I'm seeing you know all what? the posts on Facebook. Kevin's going to be there. I saw that she's a speaker, and I said, "Yeah, yeah I know she wrote me about that." Huh? Yeah. I know she wrote me about that. <laughs> she wrote you. You guys. She asked, if I, she asked if I was going. She knows I look pretty close. Are you going? 
No, that's why I'm going to have conference envy because I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I, I looked at the I looked at some of the speakers and the one that's up in um, oh. what's the one in uh, Sarnia? I don't know. Like, the, 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 this is more. This is more of like my. The problem is all the people from recovering from religion that I work with are there. So that's the thing. They're all publishing pictures together. And you know, I'm, you could go, Rob. I just got the body, thing. Right? Are you talking? Are you talking about Baja Khan? I just got yeah. that. Yeah, I just got that one. I looked at that. No, I've, they've been publishing it for a while, and I looked at it and I said, "That doesn't look even slightly interesting." <laughs> Some of the speakers, I'm like, "No, come on now." Where is it? Are good. Cabo? Sarnia, and the the one that we're talking about is Philadelphia. Yeah, the other Baja Khan is on Ontario. Hey, Adrian. I can't go because he's the believe, designated it's survivor. Been a year since I saw. So I said, "Oh, it's Canada. It's probably near Adrian. Maybe I can visit." And then I looked. No, it's nowhere near. She yeah. doesn't live near Ontario. What are you? What are you looking yeah. for? Oh, Sorry, Baja Khan. Uh, Did they? Oh, they posted oh. Baja Khan. It's on Ontario. Yeah, Baja Khan. That's near Detroit. Uh, it's closer to you, Rob, than me. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I want to go to Argentina flight. to the to the science skeptic event down there. Oh yeah, that's good. I know two words of Spanish. Gracias. <laughs> that's a good one. one. That's important. But uh, Hola means hello. Well, yeah. and mas mas cerveza por favor. Oh yeah, more beer. <laughs> <laughs> Donde es la biblioteca? Very important. Where is the library? If I was going to be speaking in the Argentinian one, I would devote every practically every <clears throat> minute of mine to try to remember my Spanish. And I and I'd probably go down there and do pretty good because I mean I I could speak some Spanish. You'd have a you'd have a shot at it. I would. Have, you wouldn't mispronounce any more than you pronounce uh, wrong in English. I so. would probably <laughs> do a much better job with my. You English. speak a lot of Spanish. I've heard you. I used to. At you work. But it's I all know. still in there. It's all. It's, it's, that's what I'm saying. If I was to sit and spend a month just really focusing on it, I would I would do it. Uh, I looked uh, at the face. I, I did find their their post, and I, I read all the details of the speakers. You're right, one woman of like twenty people. No, there's thirteen names, thirteen speakers. One is female. That is amazing. In Argentina, can you believe it? That's too bad. Do you know what the Our Skeptic Camp was was created by four women on Facebook Messenger. That was hilarious. No spreadsheets. <laughs> We no, can reason was organized by four women and one guy, and we had mostly female speakers last year. Nice. And this year it's three female, four male. So pretty close. What's Argentina's problem? Yeah. No it's, female organizers. That's probably one of the problems. It is, well, if you have no, yeah. And it's not CFI. I learned it's not CFI's conference. It's, um, no, it they were isn't. told to to send somebody, but yes, they're not in charge of organizing it. But they're a sponsor only in that they're sending somebody, apparently. And you'll even have your notes. Thank you. There you go. Looks kind of bad. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know that part. No, not the, the one in Argentina. Oh. It has big CFI logo, and then it has FFRF. And I'm like, what are those? Okay. So, hi, Gail. I know what the FFRF means. The, yeah, the thing is, they didn't know what it meant. They they said the oh. opposite of what it meant on their publication, which was awful. Really? Yeah. Instead of freedom, freedom from religion, which is the whole point of the organization, they said freedom for religion. It's like, <laughs> oh, God. Freedom for religion. <laughs> Wasn't it your yeah. comment that religion yeah. already had enough freedom? I think That's so. It. I thought I wrote it wrong. It was them? No, it was them. Well, they they obviously again they have no females in there, I guess. And the one woman they have is last. She's mentioned last in the promo, and she's last in the speaking. And it, it looks like a really awesome conference. Looking at the names and the topics, well, looking at the topics they're going to do, it looks really good. Except for you know the one that I didn't I thought was ridiculous, but oop i just almost created 58 breakout rooms that would have been interesting <laughs> one for each of us and, or actually two for each of us boy we would take forever to get through no we'd be done just like that oh, it would be just like no, that. no arguments <laughs> everybody we figure out a way to argue yep 
Oh my God, that'd be impossible. Okay, let me think. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> Gail, you're we would. Is that right? Gail, that's right, huh? Vincent's fourth. And Kevin will be here. He's five. Oh, look, Caspian's here. Mine, mine will be the longest. I'm pretty sure. All right, everybody. Speed up <laughs> all the other ones so that... Yeah. Okay, let me see here if I've got this right. Hey, you're trying to get me to uh, stay uh, stay awake long enough to get to, for the end of we'll this? You just have to watch the video. Oh, yeah. Okay, this has got to move. Kyle, we missed you. Only Kyle. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sad that I didn't get to make it. Yeah, yeah we thought you'd be there. We're going to try again next year, you know. Well, if I get a little bit of notice, I can be in LA for that weekend. Sure. Okay, and then and then we're trying to persuade Susan to do one in Monterey in in the summer. Oh, but in the summer now. Okay. I can't Instead pick. A, I can't decide on when I would do it. So we've got New Mexico's and uh, North Carolina's. Faith and Romero are going to do one. Nice. Everybody nice. should get to North Carolina and New Mexico if you can. Um, it looks like the New Mexico one is going to be focused on UFOs and it looks like we're going to have Dunning nice. and uh, the one in, um, North Carolina is going to happen on towel day. Oh, oh. oh. it's so <laughs> charming. I'm like, yes, towel day. And everybody in the group we were talking about, were like, oh my God, I got one of the organizers is like, I got a picture of me and, and, uh, and, uh, Douglas Adams. Oh, so wow. Funny. Okay, I'm almost done, you guys. <clears throat> um, I'm looking at Gail's picture she has behind her. She always has a picture that goes with her theme. What is that, an elf? Something no, from Harry Potter? Detective. It's supposed to be a detective, but it's the picture is too big, so you can't see them all. He's supposed to be a detective. Yeah, oh, he's, he's got a uh, magnifier. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my backdrop, of course, gives everybody a very specific idea of what I'm going to be doing. You're it's not doing Earth. anything. It's the whole planet. Good lord. <laughs> anything on the planet, right? Yep. Well, Antarctica is not there, so you know I won't be doing that category. Ah, wait, Ubi. I'm still waiting for Robin. Okay, so Deborah said she'll be here. such a small, insignificant thing. It's um, you can see how the how continental drift worked by looking at a map like that. Oh yeah, I remember thinking that when I was a young child and first saw a globe. I said, "Oh, it looks like they fit together." Kind of I think like my parents who didn't know anything about it probably said, oh, that's ridiculous. Well, I guess it depends on how they had done the map. Like if you had done the map and divided it up differently, like starting at Africa and Europe on one side and then put the other, you might not notice it. There's continental okay, on, a, on a Mercator projection, it doesn't look as much <laughs> stretching. Right, Ron. Yeah. Well, and then there's the, and then there was the, the observation that, uh, well, the, the, uh, You've got the continent sort of being uh, yeah. uh, pointed toward the south, and then there's a so it's continental drip with the drips like drip. collecting at that south pole. Yeah, continental it could be drip. sideways. There's no reason why we have to have it the way we have. Okay, anyway, I'm opening the rooms, you guys. The world is a cat playing with America. That's true, Carl. Uh, I've seen one where the world is a chicken. I'll see if I can find that one. I like that one better. <laughs>
Welcome back, my little chickadees. Oh, here comes Karen, just in time. Let me make sure, put her on a team. Hey, I figured the cats, cats here. Go up. My psychic abilities were kind of like <laughs> there was just something there that said to cat, "Hey." She kind of showed up right as you guys just got into your room, rooms. <laughs> hey, Karen's going to go into room four. Uh, can we have cat too? No, we we, we already stole her. Sorry. We can't oh. have cat. She's already gone. Is, is right. Kevin not here yet? No, but he will be. Okay, I've talked to him today. Okay. And well, then falls asleep and doesn't make it through. I, I I can always dig up one of my bonuses that I okay. To, Deborah's um, recovered. She'll be here in a little bit too. Okay, so I can't wait to hear what we've got for uh, names today because again, as usual, there's nothing happening in the world. Oh my god, it's like. The most boring nothing, nothing world good, at least. ever. I really like being on Jamie's team. He always comes up with the best names. I know. <laughs> then you can just ten. sit back and go, okay, let me pick yeah. between these 10 you've got. Yeah. <laughs> so much easier. Okay. <laughs> and team number one. Brandy, Jane, Lee, Mono, and Wendy. You know what? That was a very short time to think yeah, of I know. name. Whatever. You had two minute warning. Room one. That's what you're called. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Somebody would do that eventually. Yeah. I don't see it in the chat, so it isn't official. <laughs> oh, okay. We can fix that. Okay. Adrian, Caspian, Jamie, Kyle, and Rob. Trump believes only 12.5% of his new Bible. He's an atheist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, you're coming winning. up with these by yourself, are you? You're you're coming up with these somewhere, chat GPT, and then we're, or something. This is wow. No, I just I just spend my Thursday nights when you I go to bed. To, you need to start writing yeah. um memes so for, good. for Biden or something. <laughs> you put 12. Jamie put 12 for us to decide. Twelve them. Yeah. Got to decide. <laughs> room one is room I, one. I contend, oh, though, that the Bible is a reprint of the wicked Bible. Thou shalt commit <laughs> adultery. <laughs> Best misprint ever. Okay, Gail. Or Tim, intentional. Kat, Leonard and Ron. Well, we didn't go with current events. In a recent survey, six out of seven dwarfs said they weren't happy. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> it was on Facebook. I stole it. <laughs> I'm trying to compete with Jamie. You know? <laughs> no, it's going to be a nap. It, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a nap. Na so huge. <laughs> nap, uh, contest pretty soon. Okay, Alan, Carolyn, Cindy, Vincent, and Karen. Karen wasn't there yet, but she's going to be on your team. Yep, 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 yep. Pillars are going cheap today. <laughs> are we talking that because you're? Uh, uh, what's this? Oh God, if that was. Yeah. yeah. Is is yeah. something happened today? Yeah, he lost his warehouse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he did. Get evicted, yep. yeah. Yep. Oh, oh okay. that must hurt. What do they do? Just leave the pillows like laying outside or something? <laughs> or every, Why do you every think there are any? Person, every unhoused person is going to carry around a pillow. They all get yeah, a pillow. Giant Sell the pillows fight. out of the back of his car. Oh, giant, pillow, giant pillow fight. <laughs> <laughs> Team five. <laughs> it's uh, Bill, Janine, Carl, Faith, and Romero. Literally any other team. <laughs> in, in honor of the news story of the man who has changed his name to literally anybody else, and he's running for president. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard that. Oh. oh. No. oh. oh there's so, the so, so, so somebody should run a, 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 oh and, and change his name to anyone anyone but Trump? <laughs> Ready for I'm going to put that link over here because that's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. All right. So here we are. Game number 208. <clears throat> which was one of my one of my numbers that I used to use all the time. P208. That was my studio number. Season four. Game number 208. <clears throat> uh, we have on March 28th, 2024. Here we are at the end of March. The Ides of March passed by and we forgot all about them. So our teams that will be competing together, 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 together. Room one is room one. That's really original. <laughs> original. Um, 
followed by Trump believes only 12.5% of his new Bible. He's an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> followed by, oh, here comes Kevin. Followed by, in a recent survey, six out of seven dwarfs said they weren't happy. <laughs> followed by, pillows are going cheap today. And last but not least, Kevin, who is about to join us right now, will be joining this team. Literally any other team. <laughs> Very good. So we have Mono tonight who's going to be doing a category. It's been a while since Mono's done a category. Let's see what Mono has in store for us. We have Mono I, rules on this one? Hmm? No, no. Uh, you need to remind me how uh, when I to go to the rooms and when I come back, I should do I get do I control when the discussion ends? Yeah. You go room to room and you say, I think they've almost got it. You have a two minute warning on it. So you give yourself, you know, you'd say, okay, I think, I think they're on the last question. I think two minutes is enough. And then you can close them. You get to come back depending on how difficult the uh, questions are. <laughs> okay. What do you got for us? Okay. So I, I chose a popular category that people like it's films. Uh, but I don't know that there people, anybody has done this particular aspect of it. Uh -oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the names of films, 10 films, and I want what I want to know what, who or what do these film titles represent or mean? They are, I mean, that they have a title, but the meaning is not literal. Got it? It'll make sense, I'm sure, once we start seeing it. <laughs> okay. Rob's shaking his head. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it'll get make sense. Help, <laughs> Maybe. Okay. okay, here's the first one. The General. It's the 1926 comedy starring Buster Keaton. What is the general? What does it what is it referring to? Oh. Now I understand. Oh, okay. I think I even, even know this, so I should shut up. <laughs> probably probably a good idea okay the second one oops hang on a minute okay here we go The African Queen, the 1951 drama starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn. What is the African Queen? Yeah, you, you didn't, put number you one in again. The other one. You close to the same one twice. Okay, let me go back and correct it. Well, that's something different. It just gives us the same question over. <laughs> And over to hope you come up with you a know that when you have yes. two points. You, either, you get you either get ten points or zero points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. We got it. Unless Isn't... you hedge your bets by putting different mm -hmm. answers for each one and hoping to get oh. at least one point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My chat. I'm not seeing. So, the... uh, queen is that old? So wow. what was the question about the movie? The movie is what does the title refer to? Oh. It's the okay. same question for every. Oh, every. Question, I, every I question, understand. Right? Okay. You really like that one, huh? We get three points if we get that one. Right? I know why it's. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm oh, sorry about so that. Funny. <laughs> okay. I think I'd, I couldn't. Okay, here's the third one. There you go. The mouse that rode, 1959 comedy. Starring Peter Sellers and Gene Seberg. What was the mouse that rode? Okay. As you're doing that mono, you said you weren't sure if anyone had done this. They have not. Oh, yeah, good. I've never seen this. This is, sounds good. It's really good. It's yeah. clever. Very okay. clever. I'm trying to predict what the next ones are going to be because I think I know where he's going with some of these. It's the general. 
The yeah. First Lady. It's another 1962 comedy starring Julie Christie and Stanley Baxter. Incidentally, these are films I've all seen and liked, so you can look on it as sort of recommendations from me if you want. <laughs> it helps. All right. Number five, The Pink Panther, 1963 comedy starring Peter Sellers and David Niven. That's excellent. It is excellent. I didn't know it was 63. That's amazing. That was, that was great comedy writing. At least nobody here has heard of it. The next one might be the hardest. It's eight and a half, the Federico Fellini film, 1963, starring Marcello Mastriani, Anouk Amy, and Claudia Cardinale. Yeah, what is an X rated uh, title? Pardon? Is that an X rated title? <laughs> no, it, it's it, no. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, that was terrible. Jane was telling us this weekend about a survey in in oh, France God. that that all almost all Frenchmen are six. What was it, Jane? I am no, it my was little a, king cat's ears. It was in the UK. They did a a study and found what which city had the largest average size self-reported yeah self-reported <laughs> <laughs> length or girth length length 6.9 okay so they number... determined what city had the most liars in it <laughs> <laughs> my lago centimeters or inches <laughs> <laughs> are they different very Take us okay, out of this number topic. seven. Number seven, The Wicker Man. It's a 1973 horror drama mm. starring Edward Woodward, Christopher Lee, and Britt Eklund. Hey, puppy. Then this film I'm sure everyone has heard of. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. 2000 drama. It was a film that introduced big stars, Chinese stars, Chow Yan Fat and Michelle Yeoh to Western audiences. That's when they became famous in the West too. And uh, no. then no. number nine, The Prestige. It's a 2006 drama starring Christian Bale, Hugh Jackman and Scarlett Johansson. And number 10, the last one. Most recent, The Duke 2020 is a comedy starring Helen Mirren and Jim Broadbent. This looks good. So this Very good. Yeah. So now what do we do? Hit uh, breakout rooms. Um, you have your power. So you just hit the breakout rooms and it says, uh, you'll see it on the right-hand side in the lower right-hand corner. It says open all rooms. Okay, there we go. And you can also go from room to room. Are you finding me? Okay, I got to put Kevin and Karen in the rooms. I'll be over in a minute to room one. I'm in room five, remember. Uh-huh. And Karen, you're in four. My mouth moving. There we go, yeah. Hey, guys. Okay, in the first couple of of titles no. he was what is the general the yeah, general's the, the general's a train oh okay. i didn't know that yeah it's, it's supposedly during the civil war he tries to take this train okay and the african queen was a little boat yeah was it little? a little yeah a little river okay. boat yeah oh, a little boat. but the rest of them the mouse that roared is about an atomic bomb oh okay Okay, so it's a, it was a small country that had uh, yeah that yeah gets clear. gets hold of the bomb and basically tries to sort of blackmail the world. Okay, what was the country? Or was it fictional? Uh, it was like 
It was fictional. Yeah, it, it, it was, was a fictional it, country. It was like the like Luxembourg. Yeah, it was it was not a trivia. Yeah, it was like some Germanish ago, kind the, of country. The uh, fiefdom of I can't uh, remember the name. I can't remember. Um. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So, Monty, you can go from room to room. It's probably going to go fast, so you might want to go check them out. Well, the first the first few will go fast. The last few. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, does anybody know number four, The Fast Lady? I don't remember that movie. Is that a car? I don't either. What, it would, what would... Brandy? I have no idea. I've never heard of this before. No. It's here I was born. I know a lot of Julie Christie. I don't remember that movie. No. Um, and then... Wendy, do you know? I don't know, and I and I and I just didn't go to a lot of movies. Not in nineteen sixty-two. So, so what were you doing in nineteen sixty-two, Wendy? Were you being a hippie? Yeah, I know, but we didn't go to movies. <laughs> we sat around and smoked pot. <laughs> um, the, well, I guess this wasn't one of those kind of movies you smoke pot and watch. No, not well. Nobody had movies at home. This was like these were in our theaters. I don't know. I, if, if we have to guess, it's probably a car. Or maybe it's one of those, what does those yeah. kids sit in? The uh, derby box things? Go down a hill? I don't know. We know what the Pink Panther is, right? Everybody knows that, right? Yeah, detective, no. yeah. It's a, it's a diamond. No, it's a jewel. Uh, is it a diamond? Yeah, or a jewel? I think it's a Cross. diamond, but I I, I was wondering it's if pink there's diamond. some other kind of jewel. I think it's a pink but, diamond. I think it's a diamond, but I just wrote down jewel. I'm not sure. It's been so long. Oh, I love that one. I thought it was a diamond, but I don't know if it matters. Is that what you thought? <laughs> yeah, so I thought. A pink diamond, doesn't that sound right? I, I That's what I think. Okay, eight and a half. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of before. <laughs> I have heard of it. I have not seen it. Um, so I don't know. Is it a giant? No. Like a very tall person? No. What could that be? Eight and it eight. would be something very... Um, abstract... I've never heard of it. I remember when it was in the theaters, but I never went to see it. So you don't have an idea of what it's about? Nope. Um, no, I haven't well, seen Wicker it. Man, I don't know anything about that. Oh, I never saw Crouching Tiger. Watch that. It's a giant burned, they put mm -hmm. the straw man that they put on yeah. that. I've alive. seen it. I don't know what the title means. It's a wicker man. That's what you burn. Is it like an effigy of someone? Uh, yeah, let's put that. A burning... like a, it's like a burn, like a burning, a burning um, man. Wicker effigy of. Is it supposed to represent? Straw, like, I don't know if it does. Whatever it was, it was like made of like twigs or what branches or something. But it's a really horribly horrible movie. I mean, it's like violent. It was everything. awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark Mark insisted I watch it. And he told me that that's, he told me, I don't know if this is true. He could tell who was going to be his girlfriend or not. If she could sit there and watch it with him, then she was okay. And I mm -hmm. made it through. I, mean, I didn't like it. Really. That was, <laughs> that was too was, violent. I don't know. Like Crouching Tiger. Did you guys? I have see seen, I've seen Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon multiple times. Wonderful. Excellent movie. I don't know what the title means. <laughs> Is it, it be not tattoo? martial arts styles? Yeah, it's a style? it's a wuxia film, uh, martial arts. Uh, well, like yeah, lots of kind of like. Are those the different styles though? The Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon. I don't know. It maybe it's too. I mean, it probably it um, may say in the movie what it is, but it's been so long since I've seen it. I don't know. Um, it could be some like prophecy or philosophy or it could be like you said some movements or you know i i don't know are they two classes like two groups one is called the crouching tigers and then the other is called the hidden dragons and they like 
have a big fight off? No, I don't know. I've never seen it, but I've no. heard of it. It's really good. What's it about? Huh? No, is it, would we just say like martial arts or something? Isn't that? Is it's it a love story? Or anything? Anything? Is I, it what, Brandy? Is it like a love story? Yeah, there's it. love in it. Yeah, it's 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 really good. I recommend it. But like I said, it's been a long, long time since I've seen it. So, um, but I've seen it multiple times because it's really good. Um, well, maybe the Crouching Tiger and Hidden Dragon are like the couple. Is that their nicknames? I can't remember, but that's a good thought. Let's put that like. Okay, what's the press references to them? I, Isn't I that remember. like the base? Isn't that the name of the base, the army base that I've seen it again like long, long ago? Um, isn't that the name of the base that the place like in like I don't know Cuba or wherever it is? I don't know where it is. Like, isn't that the name of the the place? Oh, no, no, okay, so idea. military base. Yeah, something like that. I could be wrong. Please, somebody else to say something better. But that's what I thought. I, I don't know. Have you seen it? I have, but I don't remember. Okay, so the Duke. What's that? I haven't seen that. I don't know. Oh, um, they steal a painting of the Duke of Wellington. I remember that. Oh, one. okay, a painting. Great. Yeah. Oh, maybe I have seen that. I'm not sure. Never heard of it. I I vaguely I I don't know what was this twenty year old movie or so. I remember seeing that. And that's about all. The, the Duke. It's only three years old. It's only three. No, I thought it was a lot older than that. It says twenty twenty old movie. And it's a comedy. Yeah. So we need an answer for number four. And oh, number the Duke six. was from 2020. Oh, I thought I saw it. Oh, okay. Maybe somebody told me about it then or something. But I, I think that's a, that's a likely answer. Okay. So number four, the fast lady. What do you want? I think a car might be. Yep. That's as good a guess as anything. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay, no, eight and a half. <laughs> I have no <laughs> Lee. That's on uh, my list. I need to, I'm going to actually make check marks next to some of these movies and make a point to just sit myself down and rent them and watch them. Then you have something to talk to Mono about. You say, I have your list. <laughs> Instead of my real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better in astrophysicist, fat physics. So okay. Eight and a half. Uh, what was the prestige? Oh, uh, we I think, think it's, it's a military a base. Military base, or a, or, but I don't know. I mean, if anybody has a different idea, you thinking of the Dan Mono? Presidio? You need more time. Uh, <laughs> that might be that might be what I'm thinking of, Lee. Yeah, <laughs> the military base. Okay. That might be what I'm thinking of. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> the Presidio. <laughs> Do you need more time? No, you can close yeah, them. We need a little bit. Not, we get two minutes. We should be fine because I okay. think we don't know these. Yeah. Lee, I think you're right. Okay, I so Crouching right. Tiger, Hidden Dragon, what are we going to put? No, we already got that. We need number six and now we need number nine. No, I thought we were going to put military base. Well, Lee figured out I was thinking of the Presidio. Oh, oh is that what you're really about? Okay, yeah, because you know, is a, a military base. I should have been in my own San Francisco. I should have been in my own group. Oh, I am in my own group, right? So I'm yeah. fine. Yeah, you're fine. So, okay, so six, uh, six is what? Eight and a half. What is it? Has anyone seen it? Never heard of it. I've never, yeah. Um, 
Uh, is it the gestation period of somebody who uh, she's pregnant? <laughs> she, she has a baby in eight and a half months, or maybe they, somebody has eight and a half months to live. Yeah, right. cesarean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's somebody has eight and a half children, or somebody eight and a half, eight and a half inches long, or eight and a half feet long, or eight it's, and a half miles. Yeah, but it's it's, it's the distance of look at look at the people who acted in it. It's some weird Italian artsy film. Is it so I've heard of any of these people? It's going to be some abstract reason that it's named that. Okay, it's well crazy. then you better come up with a good one for the prestige. Thirty four seconds. Could it be art related? It's got Scarlett Johansson in it. Hugh Jackman. Isn't he the guy that slashes stuff up? Okay. In a certain role. Well, really call and the psycho art. movie. So okay. hurry. Call, call, it, call it an art museum or something. I okay, it's an art museum. The prestige. Everybody wants to get art in the park, prestige. But okay, we whatever you want. You really fooled us, Mono. What if <laughs> that was a lot harder than it felt at the beginning. <clears throat> A lot of us have seen these, but are like, boy, that was a good movie. I have no idea what it was about. What could that be? Huh. All right, Mono. Okay, here we Put go. Us out of our misery here. Yeah, the answers. Number one, the general, it's a train. Oh. Okay. It was a locomotive, oh. a locomotive, technically what it is, but I will accept train. So I have to ask, if we get it right, we get three points because she put it up three times. <laughs> <laughs> One third for each correct answer. As I said, this is a real classic film. If you haven't seen it, I'm, it's in, it's it other is, yeah. so I'm sure you can see it anywhere now on YouTube or something, the full film. It's a great film with Buster Keaton, though it wasn't well received when it was first. Uh, is that the one where he has all the tricks in the front of it where he's flipping the train ties exactly. yeah. yeah i've seen yeah. It. i mean yeah. some, it's some, it means those special effects that he not it's not special effects he did some really actual cool stunts right yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, buster keaton is amazing yeah he's Anything. amazing, he's amazing. Uh, and it's a very funny film and uh it's worth seeing if you haven't seen it the reason the reason it didn't uh it wasn't popular was because it dealt with the civil war and yep. it was still close enough to the time that people wow 1926 yeah and also it, uh, the train the locomotive was in the south it was a confederate locomotive so the film was dealing with people in the south the losing side of the civil war which also didn't help yeah i, I have to think about this susan uh so uh we're as close now as when I got married to that was to the Civil War. So there were still people fighting the Civil War. Right. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. That's not funny. Yeah, in 1926, <laughs> it, it's, still it's funny. It's yeah, funny you're right, Caspian. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's an a... article uh, I saw the uh, phases of the of the U.S. Civil War, and essentially the the one it's. Basically saying it's still go it's still going on and it started uh, before the actual before the revolution. <laughs> uh, that well the. Hi, sweetie. Okay, it's number the cause two. of it, yeah. African Queen. It's a small steam powered boat that plies a river in East Africa. I would ah. like to boat. Okay. Who wrote the book? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Does it Hemingway? C.S. Forrester. Oh. Oh. Who also oh. wrote the Hornblower series. So he likes writing about boats. Okay. Well, the next one, The Mouse That Rode, is the fictional tiniest country in the world called the Duchy of Grand Fenwick. It is broke mm -hmm. decides to send a small contingent of soldiers to invade the U.S. with the in intention of losing and having the U.S. adopt all its debts, it ends up with the U.S. surrendering to them. <laughs> yes, I will accept any time. It has to be. I, uh, the I never saw the book, but I did read the. Uh, I, I never saw the movie, but I did read the book. <laughs> yes. So I will accept country. You don't have to have the Duchy of Grand Fenwick, the name. Ooh. 
but country is necessary. We need a tiny country. A tiny, uh, any any country. If you just say country, that's fine. And what and what was the sequel to this one? Which is I liked it better. The mouse, the, mouse, the, mouse, mouse, the mouse on the moon. moon. The mouse on the moon. Yeah. The mouse on the moon. And, and, yeah. uh, and Peter so Sellers it, had three roles in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. he played three roles. It just he repeated that did again in, like in Strange Love later. Hmm. Okay, the next one I don't think people would have seen, but they may be able to guess. It's a sports car. Sports car. Close. We guess. Ah, second uh, guess. We guess. Not, every... yeah. I will accept car. And if you said the 1927 vintage Bentley, <laughs> 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 you should get 10 points <laughs> off the top. I, I wanted to guess a female runner. <laughs> will you will you will you accept airplane? Because if you take the wings off a small airplane, it's like a car. <laughs> we got car, so no. How about a four liter? <laughs> no. Okay, I think the next one people probably should have got. The Pink Panther. Mm -hmm. It derives its name from a pink diamond that has an enormous size and value. And the diamond is called the Pink Panther because the flaw at its center, when viewed closely, is said to resemble a leaping Pink Panther. That's right. I forgot that part. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's true. And, then, and it always plays that, when you look at it, it always plays that music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you say a jewel or diamond, that's yeah. fine. Good scene in that movie there's a party costume party and uh a woman dressed as cleopatra including the snakes has a uh, line where she tells somebody to get get his cotton picking hands off her asp uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. number six it's the toughest and you have to be a fellini fan eight and a half Here's it. By 1963, Federico Fellini, the Italian art director, had made by his count seven and a half films. Hence, eight and a half is like an opus number. This is the film number mm -hmm. eight and a half in the Fellini catalog. Yeah. Self-referential thing. Eight oh, and a half wow. film about making a film, and the film that is being made is eight and a half. Oh. In the uh, so, can we just say camera uh, film? No. No. Put <laughs> it, it in the chat. Something like a sequence number of the film. Mm. Well, Jane said it'd be something odd and arty, and she was right. If mm. you, it, it's a, it's a strange film worth seeing. It's yeah. very, uh, it's, it's a lot of dream sequences, and you don't know what the hell is going on most of the time. But it's very intriguing. Hmm. I've never seen a Fellini far film that was straight. I know, but this was weird by even his standards. Yeah. Seven, you got to put that one in the chat. We don't have it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Here it is. Okay, the Wicker Man. It's a giant effigy that is burnt with a human inside as a sacrifice, and I will accept effigy. And if you said it, some people didn't use the word effigy, but they said a human inside was burnt as a sacrifice. That's fine. Okay. It's a bit wordy, but so we said uh, like a, a monster that was a real wicker thing. Is that good enough? It's not a monster. Yeah. It's just a no, man. I I put a giant for our team, Rob. I put a giant wicker man with sacrifices inside that get burned up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "I said burning man." Uh, no. I would accept that. Uh, I wrote to something different, Wendy. So <laughs> what did you say? So an 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 effigy isn't the same thing as a sacrifice. I no, did use the, the word sacrifice. Effigy. So it's a giant effigy. So it's not but they, they put a person inside. Right. So is the important that. part the effigy or the <laughs> sacrifice? The wicker man refers to the uh, effigy. It's right. A, but it's an effigy used to produce a sacrifice. Right. But I Did think you he, put down something different, Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> You're arguing. I'm just wondering what, what he was going for. Yes, yeah, so I'm he confused if we, got, if we got this one or not. Technically, it's an effigy, but people who got the idea he that said, there yes. is some, uh, right. something that was created and put a person Would inside. Would you accept a humming dirt bird during an eclipse? <laughs> <laughs> That's filleted. How about two two men with a Kat, rowboat? Cat would probably accept that if this was Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind. Okay. Number oh. eight. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. 
Okay, the, it's a Chinese idiomatic phrase. You, I think you, most people should have seen it, I think. Uh, it's referring to the undercurrents of emotion, passion, and secret oh. desire that lie beneath the surface of polite society and civil behavior, which alludes to the film storyline. You never see a tiger or a dragon in the film. I will accept that hidden emotions or passions or desires. If you say anything, that was a hidden emotion. So I don't think we got that. Did we, Adrian or Caspian? <laughs> oh. No. Definitely we put put uh, hidden talents. Would that be good to no. know? Talents. No, this is no. about passions and emotions. Okay. All right. I, I, I'm assuming most people have seen it, right? No. Nope. Yeah. No, I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Long I time ago. Very good. Okay, this one is, I think. Carl, is the star of that the Empress of the Mirror Universe? Uh, yes, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Michelle Yeoh is in everything now. Everything yeah. everywhere, all at once. And... Anyway, the prestige, it's the third part of a magic trick. Magician Ricky Jay explained that the prestige is the payoff, the third act of any magic Jay trick. Jay Caspian. First comes oh, the Jay Leonard. I show you something relatively ordinary, like a dove. Second is the turn. The magician, magician takes a dove and makes it do something extraordinary, like disappear. And finally, there's the prestige. The magician tops that disappearance and they're over there. I will accept mm. part of a magic trick sequence. Okay, oh. we we so just that... got a magic trick mm. rather yeah. than part of the magic trick. We we put uh, magic trick. I, th I think close enough. Yeah, I like that. Oh, hey, thank you. Then we got it. As long as you knew to something to do with magic, yeah, that's fine. Oh. Yeah. Darn good movie, too. Mm. I agree. Okay. The last one. The Duke. This is based on a true story. Jim Broadbent plays an old working class activist with Helen Merrin as his wife, who is outraged that the British National Gallery spent a lot of public money to purchase an expensive Goya painting of the Duke of Wellington. The painting was chosen oh. in order to make a point about how the money used to purchase it would have been better used to help poor and people, poor people, poor people and veterans. I will accept painting. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Oh wow. This, yeah. I see this. Very good. Yeah, very lots good. Of, lots of things I, I gotta go see someday. Mm. When I've retired, retired. Retired. <laughs> retired from retirement. Retired and retired and retired. Someday when I have to watch movies, I can. Will be re-retired when you yeah, get I'll be tired, retired over like again. a yeah. like a car. Yes. Okay. So scores we've got literally any other team. Eight. Okay. Pillows are going cheap today. How many what? We got seven. In a recent survey, six out of seven dwarfs said they aren't weren't happy. Six. So the other, yeah. Trump believes only I, I don't know my team name. percent of his new Bible. He's a atheist. 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 Unfortunately, we did not get eight. We got six. And room one is room one. Seven. Mono's own team. So okay. I, what team was I on? With my team name, I don't know. Literally any other team. We got eight. Yeah. Got eight. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah. So we've got uh, a tie for last place, and you know what happens when Deborah gets here. So we better mm. get to our second round because somebody got to break out the tie. I'd like to ask a question from the group. How many of you did anybody get Fellini's eight and a half? Any group? I heard, I heard oh. that some review it called it the, the film that's actually in the camera, and then I was and then. Um, you want to say the wrong name. No, but Karen brought up that it was a movie. It was the movie was about a movie that was being made. So I was yes. gonna change it to the making how you make a, the making of a movie. That was about the yes. making of a movie, but I had no idea that it was a sequence of his films. Mano, yep. I remembered seeing the movie. I was in college and it was an assignment, and I couldn't remember anything about it. We guessed. And now I remember why I didn't remember anything about it when you were described it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen three Fellini movies. Don't ask me what any of them were about. Or yeah, or the other thing I, I remember about, about that movie is that the main actor, for God's sake, is on a beach, and there's thing, and there's something about flying. 
some bird or a kite is flying on the beach. He's on the beach, but and it was in black and white. Boy, that's pretty sad. These they're all about so two famous. hours. You'll we, never we get don't know back. What they're about. So, all right. I mean, so they're very thought. It's a Fellini films are very thought provoking, but not for everybody. Uh, how many people got um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Anybody got? No. Uh, I I thought it was Hidden Skills, but yeah, that was wrong. You knew it was hidden, though. Sure, you knew it was hidden. Crouching Dragon, Hidden Tiger, something like that. <laughs> we had no idea. Skills like because I remember looking it up when it, I mean God this was years ago right and it's um so I just remembered it wrong. Hmm. We well, remember right. part of it. Well, good category, Mono. Very good. Yeah. So yeah. everybody, keep in mind that next week we have Jamie, and that's it at the moment. So we will need to have that filled up by the end of the night. Okay. So next up we have Robert. Robert, <laughs> Mr. Palmer. Okay, so as people know, my background usually has something to do with it, and the part actually that I've been in front of the whole time is what we're going to be doing this one on. It is the Mediterranean. Oh. So, kind of just random information about the area known as the Mediterranean. First question. It's hot down there. Mute everybody. First question <laughs> is... The word Mediterranean comes from the Latin word Mediterraneus, meaning what in English? Number two. If I didn't wipe it out instead of having copy. Number two is the ancient Romans called the Mediterranean Sea Mer Nostrum. What does that translate into English? Number three, in which modern country on the Mediterranean coast was the ancient city of Carthage? So a little bit of geography, a little bit of history here. Number four, the island is the second largest in the Mediterranean Sea. What island is that? Number five, how long is the Mediterranean coastline? How many miles? Sorry, Canadians. Plus or minus, I'm giving you 20%. Number six, this is the most populous city on the Mediterranean coast. Number seven, this ancient civilization is known for their prowess in trade, seafaring, and navigation. They dominated commercial access, commercial com commerce across classical antiquity and developed an expansive maritime trade network spanning, spelled badly, the entire Mediterranean for over a millennium, which facilitated cultural exchanges among major cradle of civilization like Greece, Egypt, and Mesopotamia. What civilization is that? Number eight. The island of Lesbos belongs to which country? It's number nine. Kefalonia is part of which Mediterranean country? And lastly, this region of Spain, home to Gibraltar, borders both the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Name that region of Spain. Any questions? No. Nope. Okay. To rooms. Go to your rooms. Have fun. world or in the middle of the world that's good are you is someone taking one or two yeah uh, number one that was question one question two is our c our c yeah as in belongs to us yeah number three is uh tunisia yes 
How do you spell Tunisia. it? Tunisia. T U N I S I A. Tunisia. Thank you. The no. island is second largest. Is that Sicily? It's probably Crete. Yeah, Crete is big. Let's see. The second largest Crete. Because you have Sicily, Crete, and Majorca. Yeah. And Crete could be. I put Crete, but I could yes, be wrong. Sicily is very large. Yeah, yeah Crete. I think Sicily is number one. So mm -hmm. yeah, Crete makes sense. Yeah, I think it's Crete. Wow. The coastline. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Um, 2,500 miles? 2,000 I mean, miles? It's, it's huge. Yeah, it's big. Well, but does the coastline, right? does the coastline include Europe compared to the United States? Maybe two thirds across? Yeah. So maybe but does 2,000 the, does, miles? Does the coastline include Northern Africa also? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. So times would... two. Yeah, so, so 4,000, 4, call it 4,500 miles because of Italy. Yeah, I like 4,500. Oh, yeah. yeah. And all the islands, it's huge. Okay. And that will give us anywhere, well, let's go a little higher because that's probably a good minimum, say. Yeah. 5,000? 5,000. Okay. Cool. Okay. That will give us everywhere between four and six. Okay. It's like 5,600 that I think is the diameter. I'm not mistaken. So what are we putting? I'd say 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles. Just Most populous the... city on the co Mediterranean coast. Um, Athens, let's see. Athens. Alexandria? Now? Or the, um, at any it point? It might be. It's, I believe it has a population more of more than a million. Yeah, Alexandria is big. Um, um, yeah, Athens is not on the coast. But and Bar think, Barcelona I is. I don't know how Barcelona big Barcelona is. is. Rome is not. Correct. Marseille is. Mm -hmm. Genoa is. Venice. Uh, yeah. But I don't think Venice is that big. Venice is no. kind of small, actually. Yeah, Venice is small. Mm -hmm. You don't think yeah, it's Athens? Venice metro area is probably big, but not the city itself. <clears throat> Athens is huge. Um, yeah, but isn't it isn't on the coast though? Is it? It's a little inland, like Rome. Well, it's, it's on the Adriatic Sea. It's considered to be in the Mediterranean. It's on the Adriatic. So, so I, no, I, so no, I, I thought it was the Aegean, and it's still like oh, the Aegean, miles. the Aegean. Yeah, maybe Barcelona. Maybe Barcelona. Yeah. Come back to that one. Number number seven is a Phoenicia. How do you spell that? Phoenicia, P H O E N I C I A. Yeah. The, Phoenici the Phoenicians. That's what they're famous for. <clears throat> number see, eight yeah. is Greece. Yes, that's what I put. It is Greece or Turkey. It's Greece. Uh, it's Greece. It's right on the border. Lesbos was always Greek. I mean, it's, it's 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 on the eastern side. Lesbos is very east. So you think it's Greece, not I Turkey? Think it's Greek. Yeah. I wrote Greece, but oh, actually, um, Syrians didn't it recently. This, this Syrian refugees fled to Lesbos. Could and be. It was Greek. Yeah. So Greece. Yeah. Yeah. Kefalonia. Don't know that one. Is Kefalonia that Greek? was an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Making me hungry. I want to say it's Greek on the on the Adriatic side. I thought Kefalonia is Greek. Or is it Cyprus? You know, that actually might be. Um, I think nine is Greece, probably. That yeah. means Greece is twice. My wife thinks Kefalonia is Greek. Yeah, I'd go with Greek. Hey, I'm trying to remember if it's Cyprus. So. No, I don't think it's Cyprus. Um, the region of Spain, where Gibraltar is. That's We're not Catalonia. Get Robin. It's is not it Catalonia. Catalonia. Catalonia is north, right? No, okay. yeah, north. That's Barcelona. Is. This is that's yeah. Barcelona. Yeah, that's Barcelona. This is, this is much further south. What is that region of Spain called? Oh, Bastille? Um, is that what you said, Caspian? 
No, the city down there is Seville, but Seville. It's Seville. Yeah. It's near Malaga, that area. I can ask yeah. Greg. He he's he knows quite a bit about Spain. Yeah, what is that, What's the that, question? Hey Robin. Where that area Hi. of Spain. The Are region of Spain home to Gibraltar, oh, Gibraltar's the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. I'm putting it in chat, Robin. So what is that area of Spain called? Not Andalusa. Wow, what's going on with Robin's screen there? Oh yeah, it's still broken. It's like it's uh, aiming something at me. Could be Damn it. I can't believe, Susan, that you put Carl and Bill in the same room. Well, I'll let them duke it out. <laughs> you almost never do that. Well. For good reason. Um, I mean, I've been there to that region of Spain. <laughs> I've been to Gibraltar. Me been too. To Malaga. Me too. But I couldn't I'm tell you there. what the name the region is. And my son just came back from Malaga, which is right there. Yeah, visit that too. Um, lovely coast, part of the coast world. Of well, where's that? Where's oh, that? It's, it's called the Costa del Sol. Yeah. Well, oh, that's not, Costa, I, Costa no, del I wouldn't Sol. have given it away. That's not the region. No? Well, I think it's a good guess. Could it be Granada? It's Rob's category. It could be is Granada. It, Granada, is, Granada is the closest city to that area. Could the region be named that? So uh, did you get the region? No. So Thinking we... Granada, I'm guessing. Nada? Because Greg was saying Catalan, but he doesn't think that goes south and too far, too far, far enough south. Yeah. Catalonia is farther north, is the Barcelona yeah. area. Catalonia yeah, exactly. is as far north yeah. as it gets. That's what he was saying. It's not, doesn't extend down. But he, I think he may have come up with number six. Oh, well, yeah. He said Cairo, Egypt. Oh, that's the question. So far enough, though. What's that? Cairo. Cairo's uh, not on the Mediterranean. Yeah. I, Alexandria would be Alexandria is Cairo, Cairo if, it, if the range extends that far, Cairo would have to be it. But I don't think it. What was it called? Andalusia. Andalusia. But I, I wouldn't know Andalusia. Yeah. I've never heard of it. So could it be Andalusia? That's what Greg was saying. That's Sorry, I was I listening to him at the same time as you guys. So I don't know if it made I made sense. Cairo was in the top five. Most popular cities in the world. Cairo's most popular. What the top five? In, I think it's in the top five. But it's top but it's Cairo. But Cairo's inland, off the the Red Sea. Is it inland, Cairo? It's, it's not it's off inland. the Red Sea, but it is inland. It's inland. I mean, you get from the Red Sea through the. I think it's inland. I think it's inland. Yeah, it's inland. Yeah, it's not on. It's not on the Mediterranean yeah, the port, coast. The port there is Alexandria. Yeah. So he, they're saying that the port is actually. Or is Alexandria? Yeah, Alexandria is on the coast. I think. What's on the coast? Yeah. We've also got Rome. Uh, Rome's no, Rome's not coastal. coastal. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, these are the ones we've come Athens. up with. You like Athens? Maybe. Check out Athens. I like Andalusia for the, but what's the, what's the question for number six? Um, let me populous, see. populous city on the Mediterranean coast. Oh. Um, Did we come up with 10? There's Beirut. Oh yeah, Beirut. Um, I don't Beirut would be there. Izmir comes to mind all of a sudden though. No, yeah, it's, it's, Izmir is it's not that big. Stay over there, it's okay. I'm so concerned about the island of Lesbos. If that's Lesbos is right off the coast of Turkey, very far east. I, I thought you were you talking sure, to me. You sure that Lesbos is not Turkish? You think it's Greek, not Turkish? Greek? Greek? Lesbos is Greek. I'm 99 percent sure it's Greek. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you're outnumbered, Jamie. My husband also says Greece. Okay. And I don't like Greece. Yeah. And okay. Rome. As a matter of fact, I've, I've heard recent um, okay. news stories about um, migrants on Lesbos. 
Yes. In connection with the Greek government doing this, that, and the other thing. Okay, it's just so far, it's very far east, that's why. Okay, the most populous city in the coast? Um, let's see. I still Wait. have to vote uh, either Barcelona or Alexandria. It could definitely be Barcelona. Barcelona is huge. Yeah. Naples. Uh, yeah. I, and that's no. second category. Yes. Algiers. Algiers. Oh yeah, that's possible. How about Marrakesh? Marrakesh, Marrakesh is on the Atlantic coast. Yeah, it's on the Atlantic. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's south. Uh -huh. Is it? Okay. Uh-huh. Fez. Fez is north. But that's not that big. Athens. Um, yeah, Barcelona. I think Barcelona. Beirut. To Barcelona. Barcelona is very big. I think I'd go for Barcelona, too. Okay. Hey, it sounds like we got everything except 10. Well, we got 10. So Andalusia. Andalusia. Andalusia, yeah. Oh, how do you spell that? A N D A L U C I A. Thank you. Very good. So, Robin, what's going on with your screen? I have no idea. Did you it just make an update? It started lately? last week. No, it started doing this last week. I, I, the, I just rebooted, so it's a problem that survived a reboot. Mm -hmm. Maybe update Zoom. Uh, that's I could try that. Don't know how to do that. Uh, I wonder if there's another way to test my camera. Let's we'll see if the camera in general is working. Oh, there's a question. Yeah. Is it a laptop, Robin? It's a laptop. Okay. Well, it's not. I mean, it, try. Is it kind you plug in? Or yeah. is it like uh, automatically in your camera? I mean, computer. Oh, it's completely <laughs> automatically embedded inside the computer. Hmm. Hmm. No idea why it's doing that. There, it's black hmm. now. Yeah, that I know because I stopped. I stopped video. Now I'm going to start video. Okay. Nope. Mm -hmm. Weird. What's it look like on your end? Gray. Okay, so same thing we can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if your drivers are bad. Um, possibly. I would not have any idea how to fix that. Uh, you'd have to go into devices and settings and find the camera and look at its properties to see if you can update the driver. And since every computer is kind of different, there's no one size fits all way to go about that. Is there a place where I can access settings? It's a Windows computer, right? Yes. Okay, I found settings. Program devices, I think it will be called. Devices. Okay. I got Bluetooth printers, mouse, touchpad, typing pen and in pen and Windows Ink autoplay USB. Um, I see microphone. Don't see anything about camera. There should be just a little yeah. drop down that says cameras. From just devices? Go. Yeah, devices. Or just in the search bar, put camera in the search bar. It'll find it for you.
camera. Caspian's got his camera off today too, so. I've been running around back and forth. It would be hideously distracting. Oh, so it's off because you want it off, not because it's something bad. Correct. You were worried he was horribly disfigured? Yeah, he doesn't want me to know. At my last uh, travel. No, I've seen you since then. Oh, I'm, keep I'm keeping my uh, my face off the internet so that uh, the... Um, the Chinese databases can't find me. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that makes total sense. Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, I'm absolutely convinced that I'm now in a database. Oh, of course. Some facial recognition software. Yeah. So the camera says allow allow desktop apps to access your camera. Turned on. Oh. Yes. It's on. Okay. And then it says Zoom meetings currently in use. Oh. Huh. I don't have an explanation. When did no. you last reboot your computer? Thanks, Rob. They were as hard as usual. <laughs> we had some good discussions. Lots of people on our team were. It's very well oh, we discussed all right. <laughs> so, Karen, do you want to share the name of that application? That sounded like a, an interesting thing. What? What? Oh, you were in the room? Yes. Oh, yes. I, I don't know if it helped us with this. Um, <sighs> so Robin Welch suggested a game, and I've learned quite a bit about world geography uh, thanks to it, and it's fun. It's called Worldle. W-O-R-L-D-L-E. Worldle. So it's and not like, Wordle. You don't have to have a, a world, trigger reaction. Worldle. So. <laughs> and it's uh, French. The, the extension on the URL is is from france and you have the outline of a nation and then you guess what you think the country is and it lets you have six guesses it lets you know oh you're off by x number of miles in this direction or kilometers if you prefer and you kind of you know learn this and then you go to the next round um uh, what is the flag uh, uh five neighboring nations things like that and it's fun and where do you play it. that is it an app on your phone or is it a well, I do everything on the computer. Okay, so it's a computer thing. World if you just, if you it, just type in Worldle to Google, you'll, cut, oh, you'll get it. Robin's here. She can tell you. I'm what. here. I'm here in gray. I still can't figure out what's wrong with my my camera. Okay, so thank you, uh, Karen. Hey, Robin, I'm you're welcome. I'm going to look up that. I like that sound of that. Worldle right. is a blast. Oh, today was so hard. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, but is Celia um, Bosworth here because... She has to do the worldle today. No, she's not here. I will give you the answers and then I'll put them all in the chat at the end. If I forget, remind me. Um, so the Mediterranean comes from the Latin word Mediterraneus, meaning what? So uh, literally the, the two uh, Latin parts of it mean middle and earth or land. I, so it's sometimes say, translated uh, as ask, sea, ask sea in the middle of the land. But I'll take yeah. middle land or middle earth. Uh, so... Uh, Tolkien has nothing to do with it. No, it's not not Middle Earth. No, <laughs> we say mid middle of the world. Middle, yeah, yeah, that that's fine because oh, you know, that's great. what they meant Thank by you. Earth, not the dirt. They don't mean dirt. Yes, they meant yeah. the world because to them that was the world, right? They, they, yeah. they that was all they knew. All right, middle of the earth is okay. Yes, middle of the land. Yeah. Uh, so the ancient Romans called it what? Of course, being very possessive, it meant our sea. Oh, we were. Would you uh, say your C? <laughs> we said Joe, night Joseph C. Uh, our mayor, Mr. Cosa Nostra. Cosa Nostra. Because of Cosa Nostra is, yeah. is, is our, our thing. family. Yeah. Oh. 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 And, yeah. oh, well. Uh, in which modern country on the coast was the city of Carthage, which you hear if you're reading ancient stuff. It is now Tunisia. Ooh. Go to Linda S. Great. Uh, and Are you putting the answers into the uh, no, chat? No, as I said, I will put them in after I'm done. I want them now. Okay. Um, <laughs> the island that is the second largest 
in the Mediterranean Sea. So the largest is, I heard almost everyone know this, is Sicily. The second largest is also the Italian, an Italian island, and only by 7% uh, less, less large in Corsica. area. Sardinia. Oh, oh Sardinia. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, the, and all the rest are much, much smaller. But that was great. Uh, the Mediterranean great. coastline extends. So, um, yeah, this is quite fascinating it so here is can you put them, them in the uh, start putting them in the chat <laughs> no i'll do it at the end <laughs> um so the, the, there was one question that i almost had and then i decided not to do it and it was like a, a trivia book said just gave an answer how many countries border the mediterranean and then I said, okay, but like I usually do, I checked it out and there were five different sources with five different numbers. Oh yeah. my goodness. Because yeah. how do you break up Palestine, Israel, the what, you know, and there's some <laughs> islands that have questionable. So anyway, I didn't do that, but it's, it's, it is a very, very large coastline, especially when you're going around Italy. Mm -hmm. um, so this one I will put in uh, right now because it's a number. So how long is the coastline? 20 Eight thousand six hundred miles. Whoa. Jeez, we were way off. There's the range. Um. Okay. Give or take, how how many? I I, I give the range what? there. If you said twenty two eighty eight to, to thirty four thirty, you get it because that was twenty percent. Uh -huh. We got it. Yes. All right. Thank you, Leonard. Yes. Yeah, I I, I I guessed that before I saw the answer, and I said, oh, maybe eight thousand. It's like, wow, not even close. Oh. All right, what's the most populous? You think about that. That's like around the planet. It, it is quite amazing. This is the most populous city on the Mediterranean coast. I, at least one group got this. It is Alexandria. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what we came up with first. Karen. Karen. Wow. Egypt. Yeah, Karen. And, and the second one I yeah. heard nobody say is Barcelona, which I visited. Yeah. Oh, that's what we had as our first. Barcelona. We had that as the first. Yeah. Ah. All right, and the ancient civilization that's always again talked about in ancient history that did all those things I mentioned is the Phoenicians. Yay! Oh, oh Phoenicians. Yay. Uh, did anybody get that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Very and good. Then they all yeah. moved to Arizona. <laughs> 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 and they voted in the twenty twenty election. <laughs> just heard that song on, on my playlist number oh. number eight and number nine are both greece yes i gave yeah. yes. oh. Oh. Oh, sneaky sneak sneaky sneaky <laughs> sneaky <laughs> and number 10 i don't know if anybody got this when i was in the rooms no one was saying the right thing this is andalusia we got it hey. so, oh. Oh. which gibraltar is right in the middle there so there you go Yay. I misspelled it, but we had it. And we were okay. even, and Karen was even well. talking about it. All right. Now, to make everybody especially happy, I'm going to put all the answers in the chat. There you go. <laughs> Shoot. God, boy, did our score go down. Oh. Well, it can't have gone down. <laughs> yeah, negative point. It may not have it gone up so by bad, much, it but again, it Susan down. changed the rules. You get negative numbers in some cases. I guess. Shit. I can't do rules. anything. If I try anything, people will have about a cow. Can if you've bad? got an iOS device, the world will, is actually an app on it. Oh, nice. So you can get that there. Cool. Thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, but what happens when you run out of countries? There's only so many, then you're done. Yeah, you have to repeat them. because It's so it much fun because you learn, there's a lot of countries out there that have funny shapes that you don't yeah. know until you play Wordle. Oh, yeah, yeah you play. Um, Switzerland, for example, is hilariously shaped, as is Pakistan and Cameroon. Yeah. And um, think of all sizes, too. Once you're narrowing it down, you know, think of all sizes of nations as well. Yeah. Okay, scores. Okay, so it's W O R L D L E. Yes. 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 Looks like they might get a lawsuit from the people at Wordle. Oh France. man, they're in France. It's going to be in. It's going to be in English, right? Okay, so we have the English, English version. Yeah. Okay, so 
um, the two teams worked out really well. The two teams that had the lowest score, one got Deborah, one got Robin. So how do you remember it, Susan? Is it's Wordle, but take the R from Washington and add it to Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> okay, so let's go in a recent survey. Six out of seven dwarfs said they weren't happy. We had eight. Us, I'm sorry. We had eight. Yes. Yeah, eight. Okay. Right. Trump believes only 12.5 of his. Trump only believes only. Wait. Trump <laughs> believes only 12.5% of his new Bible. He's an atheist. <laughs> Seven. That was Rob, Rob's team, too. Yep. Room one, room one is room one. Seven. Pillows are going cheap today. <laughs> Four. They got to empty the warehouse. Four. Literally any other team. Ten. Woo! Oh. oh. Well done, Rob. Nice spread that there, a, Rob. That was a, it was a good uh, contest. Glad you had fun. Photos. Everybody look your best. I got to put my pussy hat on. I need to start wearing this more often. Well, somebody <laughs> put the peace sign up for me. <laughs> That's, That's my Robin. Robin. She doesn't Ooh, have a picture. I can't do. <laughs> well, your name could be there. Wait, where's your name? Oh, yeah, your name's there. You could send oh, you know, Susan a photo and she could, you know. Oh, my God, that would be work. Okay, ready? What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop video. Ready the camera? So it says my name. Yeah, okay, at least it does. Okay, one, it's two, three. On here. Three. Ron's got the kitty looking cute. That's nice. And a and a wama. Oh, the a wama, wama too. It's a chicken all the time. Lee had a wama. Okay, five minutes, y'all. Okay, five yeah. minutes. Bye, all. Al. Bye. Thank you, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Bye Jim. Anybody want to hear my accident story? Yes, sure. So sure. accidentally, you were driving this really big ship near yeah. Baltimore. <laughs> no, and... oh, no, that's, that's too not funny. Good. I was driving, and I came to a rotary, and I misjudged and didn't slow down fast enough, and I tapped the guy in front of me, and it was barely touching him. So I got out to look at the damage, and all I did was bend his license plate. But it was one of these big giant cars, like a big Cadillac with um, a Texas license plate, and he had the big long horns on the back sticking way out, like big. This is a joke. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there on the ground trying to bend his license plate, and I hear, "I'm not happy," and I was like, "Oh shit!" And I'm thinking there's going to be this big six foot tall guy, you know? It was a little dwarf who came over to me, and he's standing there, and he goes, "I'm not happy," and I said, "Which one are you?" Oh, no. Did our team name inspire that joke? And yes. what's a rotary? Yes. <laughs> I remember it when I saw the team name. Traffic circle. A roundabout. Thanks. A roundabout. Round roundabout. That's what I thought, but I was just like, I've never heard no, of that. That's a weak problem in my year at Rotary. Yeah. You guys have to have your own words, you know, for everything. I, I expected it to be Billy Joel. No. <laughs> He's Hi, performing Deborah. tonight. He's doing a show tonight in New York City. That's being recorded to be on TV in uh, a couple of weeks. It's going to be the first time they do a whole show um, free on that. Yeah, I've seen the ads for the TV show. Yeah, uh, network TV. For, he's done it on Disney before, but this is yeah. going to be on network TV. The 100th okay. show. Surprise guests and all kinds of stuff. They think uh, Paul McCartney will be on. That's the guest. Oh, they nice. Think. There was an interesting. Um... Thing on NPR just as I was driving home tonight um, and it was about how the Beatles were super popular popular in the United States but the BBC didn't play them on the radio the BBC did not have any pop music outlet and they had these illegal radio stations on ships offshore Radio Caroline is one and um, that was like the only the the, the natives in England were not getting the same dosage of pop, British pop that we were. Yep. Kind of yeah, we'll see it live. Susan, 
offshore um, rock and roll. Yeah, offshore rock there and roll. There was a movie about that, Pirate Radio. Yeah, Pirate, Pirate Radio. Yes. Yeah, they were just doing a story on NPR. Uh, 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 music. Uh, 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 music. Do, do, do. Anybody remember that song? Yes. I do. I most certainly do. Which one? Pop, pop music. Pop, pop oh. music. Mm, pop music. New York, London, Paris, Munich. <clears throat> that was a trivia question. Is it? God, that what that other category put our score down. Boy, did it ever. <laughs> And by the way, uh, the reason I'm late and Peggy's not here is because we had a little birthday party for Peggy tonight at a restaurant after work because she's turning 70 on Saturday. And Ooh, she said she's kidding. she said she's not coming to trivia for a couple of weeks because she doesn't want people to sing happy birthday <laughs> to her. Do with that what you will. Uh, remember, we'll remember. It's not going to matter. <laughs> what? Whenever Just come and get it over back. with. Tell her, get Whenever it over she here. comes back. That's yep. what's. <laughs> well, I hope people sing happy birthday to me next week. Ooh. I won't be here. Oh, we I'm certainly sad. will. We oh. certainly will. I'll say play... happy birthday to you now because I won't be here next week. You play sure. the uh, play the video again, Vincent, of uh Wid Al. That was cool. Oh, that one. Yeah. Play that on your birthday. Okay. And we're back. I brought some jello. Anybody want some jello? Me. Sure. Oh, I just had a bowl of cereal. It was wonderful with yogurt in it. <laughs> so Kevin uh, has just joined, uh, uh, made his first Wikipedia edit today. I'm so proud of you, Kevin. He put up, he uploaded a photo and then put it on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> not, not DSOW, just, no. just Wikipedia. And so then he made himself, a, I told him to make a user page for his, for his photos and maybe he'll start uploading some more photos. Awesome. Nice. The dilemma well, I have is but people photos already of... have photos. So if you go like to Kenny Rogers, there's a photo there. I have another photo that I think is better, but it's not a headshot. So I might upload it anyway, but not in that space someplace. Right. Else. Uh, go ahead and upload it if you're okay you, with it you, being there. You, because You the... upload it to well, to Wikimedia Commons, and it's just you know when people search for <laughs> pictures of Kenny Rogers, they got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yep. got quite a few. They might find a use for it, or you never know. It's it's fun. So well, um, turn into my first Susan, one. Susan, can you Damn, uh, follow, can you let me share the share a screen? Go ahead. Well, can you? Um, I don't think I have the power. Yeah, I do. Oh, there it is. So I don't know how many of you guys saw this picture. Wow, I love it. Um, but there's there's a cute detail that you may have missed. Notice Mommy's standing on the bill of the oh, baby. <laughs> That's not a perch, mother. Oh, <laughs> one, one, one foot is like in this one's eye, and the other is wrapped around its mouth. Wow, look at that mouth. So we that know is which amazing. one is the favorite. It's amazing yeah. any birds survive. We, we know which one is Dick and which one is Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> How on earth would she reach that baby if she didn't do that? Look at the around there. She probably yeah, there's no the space. Arm. Well, actually, what she does so is she goes from one side of the nest and goes to the other side of the nest and gets the other one. Amazing. Awesome photo, Leonard. Oh, yeah. I'm just so envious because all these years I've never seen a hummingbird nest. Well, so I, I had never... I'd never seen one either. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it just it just incredibly conveniently placed. My and, two goals uh, is a hummingbird nest and a live beaver in the wild. My Ooh. my sister had a hummingbird nest last year right outside her bedroom window. So it was wow. like perfect every day. Oh. She could like just peek oh. and, and watch the progression. Yeah. You might I actually just held one in my hand. We're gonna hummingbird. have to go to Narnia. Wow. We saw a live beaver <laughs> in Calgary when we were visiting Adrian and Vincent. It was one, just one of my friends. Out. It was, it was my just friends walking down the street. Yeah, just literally just walking, like walking in down the street pathway near this little creek. It was like 
You oh. saw you saw what? You ever Never. saw the beaver mm. that was down there? There was a beaver. Oh, oh you guys yeah. must have been walking close to the river then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my yeah. friends owns a campground in Rhode Island and they have people all summer there and they and uh they have a little pond area in the back that um has it drains into a a stream and the, there's a one beaver that lives in there and it keeps blogging up blogging mm -hmm. up the drain so the owner has to go down there with these big sticks and unplug the drain <laughs> it's really funny because as soon as he's done the weaver comes out and starts building it up again <laughs> All right, Kyle, you haven't been around for at least one week. What what do you got up on Data Skeptic, Skeptic right now? He's not there. He was here. I mm -hmm. can tell you because I've been listening to a okay. series on biology. Janine, why don't you tell us what's on Data Skeptic this week? It's super, super cool. He's talking to a herptologist um, who is looking at a particular breed of rattlesnake, not Western rattlesnakes, I forget, maybe Eastern, that eats kangaroo rats. And they're talking about ways that that they can put sensors and stuff to collect data on the animals so that they can observe, you know, what's going on and stuff. And these snakes run from the southern Canadian border to uh, the northern part of Mexico, but he doesn't say how far east and west. And so I was disappointed. And oh. a kangaroo rat, a kangaroo rat is a keystone species, uh, which was interesting, in part because of all the duct work they did you put in underground and stuff and that's this week on data skeptic, data skeptic. <laughs> and it's really good okay and if we're gonna only, talk about... i'm only i'm only halfway through it because oh, I well, have to stop it, might go, it might get bad after. that's cool we'll start having people um <laughs> uh, not the person who's hosting the podcast we'll have somebody who tells about the <laughs> that should be interesting <laughs> Adrian, well, let me add to that, Susan, sure. because Kyle is going to be a guest speaker in my class online on Monday. Oh, I always awesome. going to talk about AI to my skeptics class. Nice. Wow. He's going to come back and, and think we skipped him. <laughs> right. is, is there a way we can listen in? Um, yeah, the class? Technically, you have to be a member of, of our group to do that, but I could probably give you a link if you wanted to. When is it? What time? Monday at two o'clock Pacific time. Two o'clock my time. Yeah. Adrian, what you got on Skeptic Zone? Well, some, somebody named Adrian Hill will read the Australian Skeptics newsletter She's from Canada. That's a weird coincidence. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> I know. Does you mean the woman from the from the the Doctor Who series? Yeah, the yeah. Doctor Who actress. Yeah. Yeah. We have a funny story about that. We could tell one day, but uh, and the other thing is, I'm hoping that the interview from us ladies will show up in the show this week. But we, I never know. You never know when it's going to show up about our Skeptic Camp adventures in Los Angeles last weekend. That one was a blast. It was so fun. I'm I'm exhausted. So, I slept all day today. So fun. So fun. Thank you. Thank you. Rob, what what's been going on over there? I think there was a video that came out today. Or yesterday. yesterday, so yesterday, this article was published. Uh, I love is, the photo uh, you used, Doctor Evil, uh, guarding the entrance to the GSOW secret cabal. Uh, you might recognize <laughs> that uh, that person portraying Doctor Evil, and uh, yes, it's all about the UFO conspiracy and Wikipedia claims. So uh, I will put this in the chat and we discussed all of this for uh, a, a quite a long time, more, th more than most of uh, my videos. And Barry even said, why'd you make it so long? It's got <laughs> 562 Not really. views. He just already. asked me, how long is it? Um, so there you go. I recognize the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I did. 
562 <laughs> views is a lot for only that's pretty, yeah as, as i mentioned if you put ufo in the name of something <laughs> it'll yeah. get people who are more than skeptics to watch it or at least take a look at it so yeah well if you look at the comments there's 28 of them and there's a good chunk of them that are not flattering because i put the link up on twitter <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah what could go wrong with that that's right. I didn't go back and look. I just put the link up and didn't look at my notifications or anything like that. So I'm not looking at Zitter, guys. If your guys are talking about me or writing to me, you're going to have to come over and talk to me on um, Facebook or on email. Or well, something. we can just drive down and say hi. Oh, yeah, that would be yeah. really pleasant. Carolyn, um, I saw. Or walk across the street. You're going to, you've been made the announcement, <laughs> at least to me privately. That you've got the first Skeptic Camp of the Year uh, announced, right? 2025? Ooh. So, yeah, I'm in the planning stages around March uh, 26 to coincide with the uh, National Science Appreciation Day. I have a few of my members who are willing to talk. Um, I think they're going to be kind of unique talks for Skeptic Camp. It, it's all science related, but topics I haven't seen before, so... Um, I'm excited that they're interested in doing that, and hopefully I will get more speakers, like <clears throat> I'm already put a shout out to Susan, hopefully. Um, so, so Wendy, remember, she's got the 26th, so you might want to go the weekend before that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coordinate so that yeah, we're not crowding each other out. Yeah, or... that would be a good, because we want to yeah. have it. Um, Carolyn, will you be calling it the Rational Roundtable Skeptic Camp, or what will you think you're going to call it? I was actually, because I want to um, attract people from outside of the skeptic community as well. So I was actually going to call it um, Be, Re Be Reason Able Conference. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's very cool. So um, I'm going to approach some people at UOP and see if they'll be interested. Uh, my, my college, University of Pacific, um, and maybe some people in the school district and stuff. But at least we'll we'll have speakers from my own group, so that's yeah, good. That's the idea is to start with that and then add more people. So the New Mexico one will be probably June first and second in Albuquerque, and I think it's going to focus on UFOs. And um, Faith Romero, are you still there? I don't see him. There they are. What do what do you got over there? Uh, we're holding a skeptic camp. In on May 25th in Raleigh, North Carolina. Which is what day? What is May 25th? Oh, uh, May 25th is Towel Day um, from uh, uh -huh. the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <clears throat> Isn't that great? So we, we haven't come up with a title yet. Uh, uh, we didn't know we had to come up with one, but. Um, <laughs> you don't. You don't. <laughs> don't forget your yeah. towel. Just bring, just have it nope. be bring your towel. Skeptic okay. camps yeah. always know where their towel is. Skeptics I always fixed my it. video. Hey, wow, Robin, Robin, way to go! So, Romero, hey. um, th there's a free thought group that's in your area that's going to be doing something else the couple of days before skeptic camp. You might want to tell everybody. Oh, yeah. Um, let me remember. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a series of talks. Yeah. Do you remember what about what they're about? No, mm -hmm. but it was like Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're, they're oh, doing I like kind of remember they're they're doing their the group is more like politically active. And so I think they're going to do something where they uh, visit the local representatives uh, in, North, in the North Carolina General Assembly. Uh, you know, just to let them know that there's people out there that uh, are secular. Uh, and also there have some a series of talks and stuff like that. So it's going to be like the whole week um, skeptically and atheist related. That's really cool for anybody, especially coming out of town. They can be, you know, it's going to be a, a week of, of um, talks and stuff. So this should be really fun. Yeah, Rob I'm going to be able to make drive it down there. from uh, New Jersey. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> there you go. Maybe they'll let you say something. So um, latest in my world is that I have three tons of pea gravel being delivered tomorrow. So if more anybody wants more, more gravel. Yeah. So if anybody needs to work on their abs, 
This is the place to come. <laughs> uh, I, well, I will not be done tomorrow. Time. It'll be a week's long process, especially since tomorrow I think it's going to rain. But if anybody's interested, you can come and visit. And I've got a shovel for you and a wheelbarrow. So mm -hmm. just, just saying. I did the last three tons by myself. So so is, so is this how you can help? I'm, yeah, I'm trimming ferns and clearing brush if anybody's <laughs> interested and wants to it help It doesn't out. work, though. <laughs> a little bit of exercise, you know, a little cardiovascular, a little weightlifting. Okay. I'm still shoveling snow if anyone wants to help with that. <laughs> no. I think this should be a weekly feature. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to do this locally, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. So it sounds like we got it all set. Thank you guys. Kyle, I've I covered you. Kyle, we we spread data skeptic. Go back and listen. Oh, thank you the, so much. Go back and listen. <laughs> You're to welcome. The it was well, very you know what, good. Kyle? what else uh, besides the um the uh, uh snake and the kangaroo snakes, rat. Can, uh, kangaroo rats. What's uh. do you have something coming up? Um, and I told them that you're gonna be in my class on Monday. Yeah, too. we already heard that you're gonna be there Monday. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know exactly what's up next because the schedule's gotten away from me, but more on our uh, uh, investigation into animal intelligence. That's what's but, going on on Data Skip. Really lately. interesting. Oh, wow. Cool. Very good. Yeah, we, we were talking about you while you were gone. So Janine says, that explains I got my this. Ears. I can yeah. tell you. <laughs> I saw Thank something so in the much, tonight, Janine. Kyle, where they're making video games for parrots. Hey, I'm very interested in this. They, said oh, they, they, they use their tongue to push the buttons and they're trying to teach them games. Well, it's pretty cool. Excellent. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> well, it's right up until the time they bite the button right off. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I dropped my phone. Okay, so hold on a second. I lost, left my phone somewhere. Hold on. We can't be without a phone for 10 seconds. That is too freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did my first world. I got it on the last guess. Oh, oh okay. So can now that can we talk about today's world? <laughs> I was atrocious. I was two thousand kilometers off that way, then four thousand kilometers that way, then five thousand that. Oh, I this, got it. This is I so got weird. it to the ballpark, and then I guess like five things that were very nearby, <laughs> and I oh. struck out. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the wordle, regular wordle or the math wordle? Worldle. 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 Oh, that's worldle. not right. Never mind. Geography right. wordle. Disaster is averted. Yes. I found my phone. Okay. okay, so I gotta give permissions over here to Gail. Okay, ready? I wanna I wanna keep uh, in mind that we gotta fill up next week. Oh, I'll do one. Wendy's got one? I, yeah, do you believe it? I don't do them often, but I but I will do one for next 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 week. Okay. Does anybody remember? Celia said she would do one, but I, I I have her on next week and I have her on the following week. I think it's next week. She's not here. No, I think that's what week. I remember too. This week, I remember. I think I remember her saying that. Right. Okay. So we've got uh, Jamie and Wendy at the moment. So. Okay. Oh, you already right. know I have one ready if you need me, Susan. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get these stragglers to start yeah. coming up something. <laughs> we'll add the I, regulars in. I, I have a I have a few bonuses. I haven't done a bonus in forever. Forever? Pretty yeah, much. you can have a bonus. Okay, so Gail, you're up. Okay. The topic for the next one with my mystery thing is Agatha Christie. Oh, oh Susan is... Susan just had an <laughs> orgasm. Oh my God, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> is that a topic you like, Susan? Oh, wait, wait. maybe just a I've little bit. I've had you guys do topics like this before, and then you come up with some obscure thing, and you're like, "I don't know." Okay, go ahead. <laughs> let me let me calm I down. I know now. how Robin knows your O face. <laughs> okay, here comes. The <laughs> are we are we going to chat? Are we going to have to? I, I I hate having to do that, but do we have to? Yes, after a while. Yeah, I would mute. Yes. I don't trust these guys. Mute them. Okay. I don't know how to mute everybody. <laughs> Does somebody do that? How do we mute everybody? It's a mystery. All right. Everybody is muted. So, question one 
Her first no novel also introduced her most famous detective, Hercule Poirot. What was the title of this book? It was published in 1920. Question two. What did Christie experience that caused her to invent Poirot? What life experience? Now, the next two questions, oh, no, not this one yet. Question three is a multiple choice. She's the best-selling fiction writer of all time, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Approximately how many copies of her books have been sold worldwide? And I'm giving you a multiple choice on that one. The next two questions are about actors and actresses, a topic about which I know very, very little. And I'm saying that because I want you to all know, just in case I got it wrong, uh, I'm asking you which actor, and then the next one, which actress did not play this role. And what I did was I found ones that did and then I found one that I thought didn't, and I got on chat <laughs> GPT, and I asked it, and they they claim chat GPT whatever said that that they did not. So if it's wrong, it's an obscure thing that chat GPT couldn't find. So the question is, one of the most famous of her detectives was Hercule Poirot. He was played by many actors in TV and movies. Which of the following actors never played him? A, David Suchet, B, Albert Finney, C, Alfred Molina, D, Peter Ustinov, E, James Coco, or F, Kenneth Branagh. And then number five is the same thing, but... This one is about her other most famous detective, Miss Marple. Which of the following actresses never played her on TV or movies? Margaret Rutherford, Geraldine McEwen, Joan Hickson, Helen Hayes, Julia McKenzie, or Maggie Smith. And if, if one of them is wrong, it's ChatGPT that was wrong, and it's definitely an obscure thing that it didn't know about. Because I will tell you the, the place the other ones played in that are all well known. Okay, number six. While she was most famous for these detectives, she also created some others. Which of them was a government employee who specialized in statistics? He helps clients by solving their unhappiness with the creation of alternate realities. What is his name? Okay, number seven. There is a young married couple who appear in several novels and short stories. They are highly unlikely detectives who are clearly amateurs. Who are they? Number eight is a true or false. Agatha Christie actually was raised in upper middle class of the Gilded Age. She was also fortunate to have had an excellent first marriage to Archibald Christie, to whom she was married until he dried, died fighting in World War II. Please remember that if it's partly true and partly false, it's false. Number nine. She wrote several novels and stories about other countries and cultures, including the famous Murder on the Orient Express and Murder in Mesopotamia. Her interest in archaeology was part of the reason. How else did this interest seriously influence her life? And following is another true and false for number 10.
true or false, there is still a great mystery about the mystery writer. She disappeared in 1926, and after a nationwide search for 11 days, she was found staying in a hotel under an assumed name. She claimed to have had amnesia, but speculation ranged from a psychological breakdown to a publicity stunt. That's a true or false. Any questions before I send you to the rooms? Is this what it feels like to like go into the category knowing all this stuff? Is this what it feels like? Because this is a really awesome feeling oh, to you, be able to say, know. I got this. You so, like this category. It's it's a it's a first. So it's only game 208. Somebody's finally figured out. If you want a high score, make sure Susan knows the. You mean the I stuff. finally haven't hurt my team? <laughs> well, Caspian, I having... mean, we finally want Susan on our team. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, Caspian, Caspian will know these two. So. Ooh. Okay. Well, and don't forget, I did a whole Su Susan character category. I think you did well on that one. Well, mm, <laughs> well sort of. <laughs> she could I'm gonna be worthless on this. You're you're doing the note taking, Ron. So I, so I will do note taking because I'm going to be worthless as far as getting the answers, other than writing down I, what comes up with. I certainly know none of these. I I know one of them, but maybe. Okay. I'll take it I mean, away. I have, I, I have a guess <laughs> for one. Okay, go ahead. So number one, Susan. No, Leonard says he knows it. No, no, no. I have a guess for one of them. Oh, but Deborah knows three. these two. She's read all of them. Yeah, that was last year, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to remember um, Perot's what, what? friend that he, he was always hanging Hastings. out with. Captain Hastings. 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 Captain okay, so Hastings, the first yeah. novel also introduced her most famous detective is The Mysterious Affair at Styles. What, what is oh, that that's right. Famous. A mysterious affair at Styles. I didn't know it was nineteen. I L E S. I think it's I think it's Y or Y. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now this next one, I'm just not sure how to answer this. I mean, I could give you a little bit of information, and then maybe that will make sense. But it, there was no rule. She was dared by her sisters that she couldn't create something that uh, a mystery that they wouldn't be able to solve based on like she was really into the well everybody was into the Sherlock Holmes so her sisters dared her to create a mystery they couldn't solve so I guess oh. that might be it All that right. sounds like it could be it yeah I guess it's kind of like a I don't know okay now this three I she is one of the best-selling mystery writers of all times so I don't know I don't know what the answer is. She's been translated into like everything. So I don't I'm know gonna, if she made I'm, up that. I'm guessing, I'm guessing 2 billion. That was my guess yeah. as well. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She could have just added that just to give a number that's far really big. I, I, I really don't have a clue. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing that it's the really big one. Yeah. And then four and five, I know some of those actors that played those characters but i don't i've never heard of some of these others so i don't know if i would know yeah the only one i've never heard of is a david suchet david suchet is the most famous pro he's the best yeah. he is okay and i know that kenneth Branagh, peter ostinov and albert finney have all played it okay who'd called, you say albert comedian. finney yeah who else uh, J uh peter and ostinov kenneth Branagh? and kenneth brenna okay i'd never heard of them but i know peter ustinov has oh, you've heard of them susan you you no. you know who they are no i don't you would know but, them if you saw them for sure for sure but james coco was a comedian a, a comedy actor and is that the only one between the two of us that we know alfred molina or james coco was my guess yeah alfred molina played dr doc Ock in uh the spider-man movies <laughs> So are you saying, Al, um, Ron, I, I Alfred go Molina eat. is somebody you've never seen play? Um, well, I've never Rob? seen him or James Coco, but James Coco, to, I mean, all I've ever remember seeing him in his comedies. I've never heard of either of those two actors. So to my, my vote would be E just because he's going to eat him. But I'm not. Yeah, Pro's not a really funny character. And no. He's not, 
He's hilarious, but not intentionally. And yeah. I love how you pronounce it. Coco? No, Poirot. Oh, yeah. Poirot. 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 Hercule Poirot. I don't know. Hercule Poirot. Okay, it's number five. Poirot. Uh, Margaret Rutherford, Geraldine Mc McEwen, Joan Hickson. Oh, she is the best. Is she um, okay? And Maggie Smith. I think and Maggie Smith has all played her. And I'm pretty Helen sure Hayes. Helen Hayes played one of the early ones. So probably Julia McKenzie. Maggie Smith, has she played her? Has she? I didn't I think Maggie thought... Smith had played her. Um, I she... thought she played her on a TV version. She's been in so well, many things. Yeah, it's... that's the hard part. It's the kind of role she'd be perfect for, but. Would we yeah. still have, like, would we honestly have three E's in a row for answers? Mm. So people get sneaky Rob did one. with Grease last time. I'm, you know, I knows? know. Arr. So, Maggie Smith. I don't know who Julia McKenzie is. I don't know who I she is either. No, I don't either. So, would she have added it in? And she probably must have played it. So, I bet it's Maggie Smith, and it's a, it's a. She want to go Maggie with Smith? I I don't know. I'm good with Maggie. Yeah, I I have a feeling she's trying to fool us. Yeah, it could be. All right, because... back to stuff you know. Number six. Yeah, well, I'm letting you guys help. Who's the statistics person? The statistics person. Let you guys get a first I'm try. I've never read any of her novels, so. Oh my yeah, God. I don't have a clue. I, just I read finished... like 12 monkeys in school. like 12 monkeys? <laughs> I just finished, like and then there were none. I just finished it, like it half an hour before I got I got here. I've heard it like probably fifty times. It's the audiobook. I do, I like to listen to uh, Agatha Christie when I'm out working in the yard or cleaning the house or something. So, do you know who the stats? Yeah, is? Uh, Mr. Parker Pine. Oh, see, look how easy that is. I don't really <laughs> like those stories, but whatever. And I, I think his name is spelled. P Y N E, but I don't. I don't know. I I listen to it more than I no, no. read it. We don't get credit for spelling. I have no idea who the young couple is. Deborah, do you know it? No, I don't think I've read that stuff. Faith and Romero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's Tommy and Tuppence Beresford. What what, what is that? Tommy, Tommy. and Tuppence Beresford. They've done a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, there's a whole how bunch. Do you, how do you remember all that stuff? Because I've seen these and read them billions of times. And she's like, I only favorite. read the main ones. I only read Poirot and, and uh, Marple. I didn't read any of the other stuff. Yeah, I probably read three Agatha Christie's in the last week. Well, we were in we oh, were in yeah. LA. I, I probably you, did three a week because I just you had it on in a car. You had it on in the car. <laughs> yeah, I put them on as I'm driving, or I put them on when I'm working in the garden. That or Sherlock Holmes, and I hear them over and over and over. I I probably have the um, Hounds of the Baskerville memorized by now. I do have the Sherlock <laughs> Holmes collection on my iPad. Yeah, I, oh my gosh, I listen to them over and over. There's a couple I just don't like, and I won't play them, but um, yeah, for the most part. Okay, what's the next one? Number I'm eight, guessing that the, the next one is false. false. It is false. Okay. And I'm guessing that because I don't think the marriage was happy. No, it was. It, well, I mean, it was for a while, but then he cheated on her, and that's why she would disappeared. She took the name uh -huh. of her mistress. She went. She went away, and she took the name of her miss of his mistress. So when they found her, she was uh, exposed the name of his mistress, and she pretended that she had amnesia, and then everybody's <laughs> like, "What?" And so the his mistress was like. Um, like in their circle, you know, their mm -hmm. social circle. So it was really embarrassing because he thought they thought he had uh, murdered her. She put, she, it was really, really, she was brilliant. Oh my gosh. Yeah. For 10, I definitely had true down. That's true. But I didn't know that, he, that she used the mistress's name. That's hilarious. Oh yeah. At, at, and I don't know why they say there's a mystery behind this. We all know what happened. My goodness gracious. She was a clever woman. So yeah, we know what she did. She you remember her husband. He, do you know how old she was when that happened? Um, she was, she had one child 
and the child was probably eight or nine. So, and she never had children after that. So, and going back to nine, do you guys know nine? No, no. She married an archaeologist. She went away and uh, married, um, met this guy. His name is Mulholland or something like that, but he was an archaeologist. So she, so she wrote a lot of books about archaeology because they went to Egypt and uh, different places with her husband and so she wrote while she's there she's actually a pretty good artist too she she would draw so a lot of her stuff is accurate the so, the story she would tell so marrying about. the archaeologist also meant that she traveled so yeah she did a lot of traveling she was quite they were quite well off and she was a very famous authoress at the time he was quite a bit younger than her too so that was kind of cool <laughs> you go agatha yes maybe 10 15 years younger Mol wow. And he was very famous uh, as an archaeologist in his circle. So it was pretty cool. Um, so That's how everything. else did this interest influence her life? I assume it would she means that she she married this guy. Um I don't know how to pronounce his name. Mul Mul Maholland? Mul Mul That's his last name. I think he became a, a Sir Mulhogan or whatever his name is, uh, like a like a. He got he got knighted. I think he did. Ooh. He was he was a famous um, person in his own right, and I can't think of his name. Anyway, that's it. I don't know the. I took a guess at his name based on what you were saying. The actress, uh, the thing. So I I don't know if we got him all right or not because. And if we didn't, I don't know those you. actresses. We'll probably be closer than almost everybody else. So. No, I think Caspian's going to know a bunch of these. Oh, no, Parker you're, Pine. But you're he'll probably know right Tom, about that. He'll know Tommy and Tuppence, and he'll know uh, probably about. I think the only one he won't know is the um, Parker Pine, and he can't stand his marbles, but he likes um, uh, Perot and Sterling does too. I I raised them well. <laughs> They know their they know their Agatha Christie. I thought it was determined that they're really one person because nobody's ever seen the two of them together. Well, they have. <laughs> Deborah has. I have. Oh, yes, you have. I have okay. Seen. I have. Yes. All right. Many times. I'm, I'm sure if you Google Kenneth Branagh and Peter Ustinov, you are going to recognize their faces instantly. Oh, everybody's seen Peter Ustinov. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely with that stupid mess. She was an awful pro. <laughs> whatever it's david suchet and um joan hickinson joan um she's just amazing just amazing what a wonderful agate um miss marple she is i just listened to another one of hers she narrates a lot of the books too on tape with her beautiful british oh it's just just lovely anyway okay all right well that felt really good. I'd never have, I don't, I rarely <laughs> ever get anywhere close to something like that. Isn't it awesome? It, like it feels every good now and to then you have get some, a category and you're like, I got this. I can finally <laughs> participate and not feel like an idiot. Okay. No problem. Not <laughs> I don't that have to struggle with this one. I got Well, this. it's not like a real, like I'm really solving. I mean, I'd rather be really good at math or geography or astronomy or something or birds even. This is just kind of a silly thing to be. Yeah, well, I get pop panicked. culture, so um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get pop culture usually. This is pop culture, but it was pop culture from the thirties, well, forties, and fifties. I hear that you were like fooling around with my my man in L.A. Oh yeah, oh, well, yeah. You know, you know how it is. You get yeah, you know, you're far away, away from people, and you might as yeah. Well. He he bought us all dinner. It was great. He hung out a yeah. lot. It was great canoe yeah, i never did a pretty fabulous man him correctly yeah. though i Keanu. just called him canoe he thought it was funny well, susan, <laughs> you, susan you have to get something that people didn't know and i think i succeeded <laughs> what well she you knew thought, you said you wanted topics people didn't all get high scores on I think yeah I did caspian do really well because i bet i you don't know did. yet I, I passed through their room but everybody was was moaning oh come on <laughs> Yeah, except for this room a bunch of whiners finally yeah, we weren't we weren't complaining at all <laughs> no well i'm not really good at the actresses and actors names there's people i've never heard of so those are i know some of the actors and actresses but i'm not really good with names of actors i i don't really pay attention I, i'm more interested in the story so 
that's those are 50 50 forgot those i don't know so you're ready for the answers yeah yep. yes here we go we're all back uh, share the screen yay powerpoint again powerpoint okay here we go here she is there she is in a lot of her books Number one, the mysterious child. Wow. We even spelled it right. Good job, team. Good job. Okay. Number two, this one I I think was was a hard one. I I didn't see anyone. Oh, I answered the question wrong. Will you accept her when in Belgium? She was served as a volunteer nurse during during World War One. And she met a lot of Belgians, and that's where she got the idea and modeled him, perhaps after a particular person she met or just in general after the Belgian refugees she met. All right. I, I World War that. One. Is World War One enough? No. Well, we said she met some someone during World War One. But well, did we anybody said get the whole thing about it? Was a re she met refugees? No. We had like the German invasion of Belgium or no, something. No, what I did is I said she was, I answered the question a different way. I thought you meant why did she start writing mysteries about, and Perot was her first one. So I said her sisters dared her to write a mystery that they couldn't um, figure out because Conan Doyle's uh, Sherlock Holmes was so popular. So she tried a mystery that she didn't think her sisters could figure out. So I said it was a dare, which that's true, but I didn't, I forgot. I mean, I knew this about the Belgian refugee that were in, in, um, in the area, but I, I, well, I'm reading my question. question. I read the, the question. question doesn't make it clear that it was about Poirot specifically. So I think you can get credit for that. No, I would just said it was about why did she start writing mysteries? Right. And it's because she's really clear about her. Her. Okay. Question three. It's two billion books. Wow. 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 Oh, two billion. The last one, E. Mm. Question four. The answer is James Coco. David Suchet is the most famous Poirot, oh, yeah. which I think you all got. He's Al the best. Bethany, Murder on the Orient and Trust in 71. Mm. Alfred Molina, Murder on the Orient and Trust in 2001. Peter Ustinov had several movies, including Death on the Nile and Evil Under the Sun. And Kenneth Branagh did Murder on the Orient and Press and Death on the Nile, and even directed one of them. Hmm. Interesting. I never heard um, of those. Number before. five was a little hey, harder. we got it right. Maggie mm -hmm. never did, did her. Uh, oh, Margaret oh, Rutherford. I'm so sorry, team. Uh, oh, well. Margaret Mark, Mark Rutherford is one of the most famous ones in Britain. John Hickson was on BBC. Helen Hayes did The Mirror Cracked. Julia McKenzie was also on BBC, and Geraldine McCoy was did, was mm. on BBC before that. So these nobody are is as good as Joan Hickson. She is the best. Maggie Smith never played her. Mm. She was amazing, amazing. And number six was Parker Pine. Oh, six and out. That's a picture of him and Parker Pine investigate. Yeah. Very interesting, very, very different stories. If you haven't yeah. seen any of them or read any of them, they're interesting, yeah. very different style for her. Number seven, Tommy and Tupson. Their name was Bareford, but people always know them as Tommy and Tuppence. And they were the most yeah. unlikely uh, of detectives. And they, they did, just stumbled it was her, their way into it. It was her, her spy, they were like spy novels. Yeah, they... They were. They were mostly mysteries that appeared in spy, uh, spy novels, and they get themselves into all kinds of messes and get out of them in most unlikely ways. Mm -hmm. They also appear in some other novels with other... She just put them in as characters that were part of the other stories that were more more significant uh, detectives. Number eight is Fall. Mm -hmm. She had a very bad marriage, and most most biographies of her say that it was her parents who basically forced her into it. Uh, Wikipedia says she was in love with them. I don't know which one is true, but it was a very unhappy marriage. Uh, was unhappy through the war, but the war kept them together. He became a businessman afterwards, fell in love with another woman, asked her for a divorce, and they divorced soon afterwards, and she was very unhappy in that marriage. Mm -hmm. Her name became Christy, and she was known by that name, which is why she kept it. Number nine, her second yeah. husband, Edgar Mallowan, was met 
because she was very always very interested in archaeology and she went to visit the archaeological mm. site, met an archaeologist, fell in love with him, and they married, and they went to these things together. So the big thing that happened to her was that she met the husband who turned out to be the love of her life, that she lived in. That's what I said. She met her husband. Yeah, she said she met her husband. husband. That's, yes. that's what did it. She that met her yes. husband and an archaeological <laughs> site. That's the correct answer. And we say that, oh, okay. So then saying that she uh, wrote book book on archaeology would be wrong then. Wrong. She didn't write a book on archaeology. She met her husband on a dig. Okay. She met a man well, on a dig that she ended up marrying. Who was an archaeologist, right? Who was an archaeologist. So we right. said she married an archaeologist. Is that good? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the point. She married an archaeologist. And Can finally, number it? 10 is true. And these are some of the stories from the day. And there's a lot of speculation. Nobody knows what really happened, but it did happen uh, before her divorce. So the speculations range from she was committing suicide because she just claimed that she had she just had amnesia. Uh, Susan knows the believed. truth, though. Um, they were attacked by a giant hornet. If you've seen the Doctor Who episode, wasp. It was a wasp. Close enough. Happened. What, what was it? But the, 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 a lot of the speculation is that she was contemplating suicide because that was when she had the No, no, no. There's a time traveler from the future. And he was no, 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 no. <laughs> there's, there's no mystery. We know exactly what happened. There also, there also is a lot of speculation that it was just a publicity stunt, which is no. probably. I, I thought it was binge. actually brilliant that they did the episode based upon that, that hole in her <coughs> history and filled it in with something really weird that no one would know about. But, but, <coughs> but Susan, you know something about this. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have read lots and lots about it. And it makes sense. Common, she was a very clever woman. She she, she, uh, she disappeared. Her car was found alongside the road with like clothes in it. And the door was open. It's like one of those little Model Ts. And then she's gone. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was one of her mysteries. She planned it all out. It's obvious. And then mm -hmm. she goes to a one of those... Um, like a resorts where you go and you spa like a spa a yeah spa. exactly and so so days went by and there was people hunting all over her husband was uh who's always golfing mm -hmm. and he and he had a mistress and the mistress was in their same social circle and so um he wanted a divorce and all this kind of stuff and she was just devastated and so what happened is she just she planned it so he looked like he had murdered his wife and so the police and everybody were just <laughs> after him, you know, they're like, what in the world? So they're like, they're dragging the lakes and, and she left little clues in different places. And finally, and finally somebody at the, at the spa she's at recognized her and she played it dumb. And the name that she used on the registration at the, at the place was her husband's mistress's name. Oh. Um, so it exposed her. So when they found Agatha, they it, they said you're here under this name and um she goes i don't know what happened but it was it was her, his mistress's name so it exposed him embarrassed him first she's he's um you know supposed to be have murdered his wife and made her disappear and then it was like oh the poor thing you know she just played it off but yeah it's it was all obvious. cover up susan here's the true story in 1926 dinner party turned to murder miss doctor and donna <laughs> noble time travelers Meet Agatha Christie on the eve of her well-known nine-day disappearance. There you go. No, it was revenge. This woman, she was clever. She was very, very clever. She, you don't sell two billion books. I think it was uh, if you're not a good writer. So, anyway, let's do scores. That's it. Was, it she's fascinating. The whole story is fascinating. And mm -hmm. I just finished like an hour before we started trivia, and then there were none. I've I've listened to it like fifty times. I was telling my team I probably listened to three Agatha Christie's a week, wow. or a Sherlock Holmes, wow. just over and over. I'm just weird, <laughs> <laughs> so it feels so good. I would never guess that, especially after those videos you made and sent to everybody. Oh yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that okay. I heard yeah. she was abducted by an alien spaceship. We should have sent one to Kevin. We didn't send one to Kevin. We ran I, I thought steam. about that. We ran out of steam. So if you guys didn't get one, it's nothing personal. It was, we, we, it was, it was losing your life so long. Talk the next day. It was largely <laughs> unintelligible. 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I made a video of all of them strung together, just in case. But it's unlisted, so the UFO Twitter. Watch, watching the video, I assume there was like maybe a carbon monoxide leak or something. <laughs> You. <laughs> I thought if we anybody found some wants kind of to, California substance somewhere. If anybody's curious and you want to see the others, I will show them to you after the game with the video off. Okay, next. How many scores? Oh, I'm in charge of the scores. Oh, oh, how does you have work? one job? I got so excited. <laughs> I only have one job here. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the screen. I'm clicking on it to go to the screen. I'm so excited, you guys. Just oh my god okay uh, so that would be pillows are going cheap today uh we got three. Oh, yeah and were they the true and false ones no we actually uh, got those right oh we got those right yeah yeah that's what i mean trump believes only 12.5 yeah. percent of his new bible five did how, how did caspian do he got five. <laughs> I knew, I knew he, would do, he would do well. I knew it. But he Good can't job. stand Miss Marple. He really likes bro. So, you know, he if it's a Miss Marple question, he won't not. Room one is room one. Six. Good job, team. Um, and pillows are... Oh, did you I got... see something? No, you got us already. Oh, okay. In a recent survey, six out of seven dwarfs said they weren't happy. Thanks to all the input from Ms. Ann Gerbic, we got 10. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Okay, literally any other team. Uh, I count seven, I think. I had six. What's the seventh one? I wanted well, to be Ke Ke Kevin, th Kevin threw in the husband thing at the okay. end. Okay. Put the chat in. Okay. The seven? Yeah. Seven. You guys couldn't oh. make up your mind, so I said, just use this, and yep. just guessed, <laughs> and it worked. All right, good Any job, Any answers better Gail. than a blank space, unless it's a Taylor Swift question. See? Well, you wanted a range. That one's a uh, well Remember done, the Gail. rule. Well the done. rule is, you know Susan's going to be on your team. You know I'm going to be on your team. That is the one person you know will be on your team. So... Surprise yourself. But it takes all the fun out of it if we don't tease you about Washington State or something, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, time okay. travel. So we've got a different category. I've heard this is going to be controversial. So, and it's going to take a little longer than normal. So just saying, we're running way ahead of time today. It's Vincent's turn. So. Okay. So uh, in my younger days, I used to be able to sing, so I am going to serenade to everyone today. That's controversial. <laughs> that would be controversial. We'll, yes. we'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, so, um, let me get my camera. I did not uh, put a category down. That was stupid of me. Have I, I didn't have a category, that? so we'll just make the category up at the end. Vincent's vocalizations. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. why not? Work. Let's go. Vincent's um, yeah, and um, I. So I'm going to sing first. <laughs> then I'm going to uh, put the uh, the song in the um, uh, chat. All right. And then what do we do? We listen. Uh, just you just listen. And then you guess uh either the song or where what the song is from. Movie or a play or something like that. And you mean you're going to sing part of a song? Oh yes! Oh yeah! Though no, I'm not gonna sing the, the whole... entire half-hour song. No, <laughs> and we're the doing... whole album for all ten. <laughs> and we're starting with the Ring Cycle. Yeah. 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 Hey, Jude. American it Pie. Will be only hey, partial of these songs. So, okay, uh, here I go. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. 
525,000 moments so dear. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure, measure a year? In daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, in laughter, in strife. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure a year in the life? That was number one. Mm -hmm. Uh, get this. You don't have to give us the where That's they're good. from and a choice. Karen, Karen's already got. It. She's, she's okay, yeah. got it. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Try to do this as. Are you as wanting as us to name the song or where the song is from? Where it comes from? Yeah. Either or. Either or. There we go. There it is. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. The word's in there. Second one. Uh, uh, this one is, okay. Uh, it's astounding. Time is fleeting. Oh. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely, for not very much longer, I've got to keep in control. I remember doing the time warp, drinking those moments when the blackness would hit me and the void would be calling. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, <laughs> that I didn't practice these, so <laughs> that's there you're doing perfect. I'm doing perfect. that's great. They just having fun. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? I did instead of I've got that soundtrack in my CD player right now. I've I just did the dance. Do you have too. a CD player? That's the guy CD I player. Do. What's that? It's this old school contraption you wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. I have we'll eight tracks. What are you talking we'll about? Do the, we'll do the whole song. A whole um. Whole hey, play. wait, wait, wait. Number three. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's gray and lonely, I'll stick out my chin and <laughs> grin and say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> so you got to hang on till tomorrow. Come what may. Thanks, Vincent. What? Now that song's in my head for the next. <laughs> 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 something, something until the next one. Until, until the next question. Until the next song. And the then next question will knock it out. Whoops. Yeah, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> Yo. All right, this one I did listen to and practice a little bit. It's very short. Raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens, rice <laughs> copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. That's it. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm recording so I can listen to this over and over. How many, how many <laughs> are we going to play on? Good again. The sun will come out. Tomorrow. Good one, Kat. <laughs> All right, let's go with the next one. This one, it, this one, I don't know. You might get this one. One more. 
One day more, another day, another destiny. This never-ending road to cavalry, these men who seem to know my crime, will surely come a second time, one day more. That's it. That's all you get for that one. Are you putting it in chat? Bobby, yes, 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 of course. Do not worry, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Oh, what is it? Hmm. All right, uh, this one, I just like it. Um, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. That's it. That's all you get for that one. Because we're Canadian, eh? <laughs> Uh, well, that's, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> I hope my singing isn't too bad. Uh, I think so no, it's fine. Fine. Tomorrow. I, and like I said, I did sing before. The screen hasn't cracked. You're okay. Um, yes. <laughs> my internet, internet connection. Ah, here's where, uh, oh, no. My internet connection keeps going unstable, oh. and I hope it's not connected to the singing. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> you're setting a very bad precedent, because I've done music before, and I sing so badly, I would not even try to do what you're doing. But now I might try it, and everyone's going to regret that. And <laughs> but yeah, country music, right? <laughs> but, yeah. I used, Please, come on. but I used to sing, so... No, it's, you're doing great, Vincent. Yeah, you're no. doing great. Okay. Yeah, you're doing great. This is a cappella. It's hard. Don't stop to yeah. see it enough. Come on. And when okay. we're done, I suggest that we do a mashup. Everybody pick whichever you <laughs> would like to sing. And we do a mashup a la happy birthday. Sure. Let's <laughs> go. Hey. So Karen, I, mean, I haven't said hello to you before. Let, let me do the next one. All set tomorrow. Then the sharpest words want to cut me down. I'm going to send this flood, going to drown him out. I am brave. I am bruised. I am who I meant to be. This is me. Another round of bullets hits my skin. Well, fire away, because today I won't let them shake, uh, won't let the shame sink in. We are, oh, we are bursting through the barricades oh, and reaching for the sun. We are warriors. Yeah, that's what we become. Hmm. That's it for that hmm. one. Oh. <laughs> Again, for all of them, either name the uh, uh, play or movie or the title. I'll accept either or. Oh. Where is it? Damn it. Come on. Go faster. Okay. Oh, and here's one. Here's one that I like singing karaoke. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to be a six footer. You don't have to have a great brain. You don't have to have any clothes on. You're a Catholic the moment dad came. Because <laughs> every sperm is sacred. <laughs> Every sperm is great. If a sperm is uh, wasted, uh, 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 God gets quite irate. There. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I did it. 
again. Damn it. Oops. Somebody did a pating. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Something's done. laughs> this one I had to really listen to. It was a tough, it was a tough one. But uh, um have you ever heard of the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned. Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Yeah, that's all you're getting for that one. <laughs> Oh, oh, there. Over, paste, got it. All right. Uh, I and I like this one, even though it has religious connotations to it, but. I got it anyway. I, I did it anyways. I closed my eyes, drew back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew far, far away. Someone was weeping. But the world was sleeping, any dream will do. I wore my coat with golden lining, bright colors shining, wonderful and new. And in the east, the dawn was breaking. And the world was waking, any dream will do. Oh. Gee, that was almost as good as Donny Osmond. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you don't know about the answer. answer. Come Let's on. Go Let's, go answer. Let's go to our rooms it, now. It gives a good big hint. Does it? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I've never heard that before. Oh. Let's go to our Why we got to mute now. people? I, I saw it in London in the West End. No. Okay, but again, okay. you're don't no, wait, quiet, wait, hold on. Quiet, everybody. Quiet, please. All right, I've got a bonus. Uh oh. Oh, did you do ten? Oh yeah, I did. I, I did. Can't think of it. All of these, but one, are what? And that's all you're getting. So I got it. I got it. It's a bonus. Yeah, you've got one. Yeah. Good job. You've you've upped your game. Uh, just uh, now everybody else is gonna have. I'm gonna start seeing. I want to see some singing. Yeah, you're <laughs> gonna regret it. I'm Did telling I, you. People. I, I hope I wasn't too bad. It's really late at no, night. No, that wasn't bad at all. Until you hear uh, me try right. to do Shania Twain. This this was uh, knew the tunes. <laughs> This was really, really, really fun, Vincent. That's well, great. Was say, Man, yeah, I feel no like problem. a woman. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't controversial. I feel like a woman. Both, both Kat <laughs> and Adrian were really hoping that I would do this category, and I almost did it <laughs> one week, and then I just too many, too much stuff was happening. But I was able to do it today. And it was good. Fun. Well so, done, Vincent. Right. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Let's go to our rooms. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be gone long, though. No. So we can make up the time for it's very good, a lot it's of very high scores. Yes. Which uh, is good. It's fine. Hmm. There's a couple here I don't know. So I'm going to have to have you guys help for sure. 
And there's one that is like on the tip of my. But I'm sure this is gonna be, we're not going to be able to. This is going to be very hard to catch up here. With this one, though. I know, but oh, I'm glad he didn't give us. OK, who's got. Let's the... go. Let's just go because I, I need okay. to take off. So who let's write, go. Who one... write the answers. Just go. somebody write it down a piece of paper. OK, I've got my is it easy? I've okay. got my answers here. Uh, who knows? Number one. I know the song. I don't know. That's the from Rent. Is that's Rent. That is Rent. But number what is the name two. of the song? That's OK. Doesn't, rent is it doesn't option. matter. Rent is number good. Two. Okay. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Time Got Warp. Yep. Annie. Got it. Sun will come out tomorrow, Annie. Uh, Sound of Music. Sound Four. of Music. These are a few of my favorite things I wrote down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five. Lay oh, Miz. Lay wait, Miz. wait, five. Oh, is that what that's from? Oh, that's right. Okay. By the way, what is the bonus five? there? They're all musicals. Is that okay? So, what one? was number five again? Les Mis. Les Mis a Robin. Les Mis a Robin. Oh. Six. Uh, Frozen, go. right? Frozen. Yeah. Oh, that's, I could not think number for the life of me where the it was one. Five. Wait, what is six? What is six? Frozen. Frozen. Oh, yeah. Let it go from Let Frozen. It go. Yeah. Um, number seven, I did not know it sounded familiar. I heard somebody sing it on The View, actually. A, a male, I thought it was a male voice singing it on The View, but I can't remember. I don't know it. Okay, number I don't eight. Know it. it sounded familiar, but I don't know it. No, oh, number eight that. is The History of the World, my Python. Okay, number nine. I thought The History of the World. Monty Python's The History of the World. Is it called The History of the World or The Meaning of Life? Oh, meaning of life. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Other people did. Another kind of history of the world. No, we're called every Meaning of life. You're right. Monty Python, the meaning of life. Okay. Really? Are you sure about that? The meaning of life. So, it's the meaning of life. Every sperm is sacred. Every sperm is sperm is great. Yeah, every sperm is sacred. Okay. Now, I just, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't sure because I've seen that. I thought maybe it might have been, it might have been, yeah, Book of Mormon or something. But no, 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 Monty Python. This is much older than the Book of Mormon. Much older. Number nine, I've never heard. Pocahontas, The Colors of the Wind. Yeah. Was it called The Colors of the What? Colors of the Wind. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Oh, I probably did see that. How high does a sycamore grow? If you cut it down, you'll never know. Number 10. Which we got so, two hints on. Damn it! See, some of that are in the multicolored coat. Yeah, so like that. Technicolor dream coat. Technicolor. Uh, yeah. I know, oh, yeah. but there were two clues given, so people know. Number one, Donny Osmond. So a lot of people that don't know theater, yeah. know Donny Osmond did that, and also that it's a stage musical. So, I I just guessed it from the lyrics. I don't know anything about Donny Osmond singing that. One. I didn't. I didn't know. Anything but I think about all of them are stage musicals, except for the meaning of life that started as a movie. Think everything else started. No, no, stages. no, because Frozen is not his play. Yeah, well, maybe it's right. now. It is, it is now. It's on stage. It's it's on stage. It's okay, so they're all stage plays. Well, they're all music. They're all musicals. Except for Meaning of Life, it's okay. Stage only it's a movie. Plays. It's only a movie. Spam a lot was on stage though, so I don't know if they anyway. Because they're all stage. All right, I got. I have to go. Bye, Carolyn. All right, Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Carolyn. I'll see you'll you be, in you'll be, two you'll be hearing this song over and over. Yes. What's the one you guys didn't get? Um, it's something here. Let's uh it's, it's seven. I, I've heard a male I, I, I have it in my head that I heard a male voice sing this on the view. Or I'm uh, just thinking that we are uh, I am woman with Helen Reddy, but I don't know all the words. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, then the sharpest words want to cut me down. I'm going to send a flood, going to drown them out. I am brave. I am bruised. I am what I'm meant to be. This is me. Another round of bullets hits my skin. Well, fire away, because today I won't let the shame sink in. We are bursting through the barricades and reaching out for the sun. We are warriors. Yeah, that's what we've become. Yeah, that's what we've become. But but that, that one pit part is i am brave i am bruised i am well, who I'm karen meant to be. karen what is what is the the bonus are they all uh musicals are they all movies are they all stage, stage plays? musicals cindy said that they are all musicals on stage with the exception of the meaning of life so if you got the so if we got the if that is the correct bonus the bonus is correct then we have 10 anyway yeah 
Ah, oh, do we get a point, point for that though? He didn't put it. Correct, he didn't put it as number eleven. He said it was uh, a bonus. Put it in as a bonus. A bonus to me means if you get it, you get the point. We'll plead our case, and and, and we're his team. We'll get the point. <laughs> I wonder, I, I don't know that song. That's funny that I never heard it. I never heard that. Yeah. It's not familiar at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Just that one part. I am brave. I am bruised. I am who I'm meant to be. So, That's guys, would, you, this is would you have gotten all these answers if he did it the way Kevin likes to do it, where he simply reads the words and does not sing? Oh, uh, Vincent, the bo is bonus worth a point if we get it? Yep. Okay. If if you didn't get one of the others, of course. Right, right. I mean, then. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So we're as Susan predicted. We're we're done. Yeah, we're You're done. Um, okay. Cindy, how was it on your home turf having Skeptic Camp in Los Angeles in North Hollywood this weekend? Well, it's not my own turf yet. Um, it was interesting. It was small. Um, had not time with with Susan, et cetera. Um, <laughs> so we got to Vermont Street and and we went to Baco's bookstore. I don't, I guess it's called a bookstore. Um, and that was interesting. And then uh, so that was a. Actually, I haven't gotten out that much yet because I've exhausted myself unpacking and trying to set up, and I aggravated an old injury. From all the moving I did from Pacific over to here, because I did most of my own packing. And then I do all my own unpacking when I got here. You have all your art up. I mean, I'm amazing. Yeah, she was given a up. mission. We told her she couldn't come back to trivia if she didn't have to give us a view. I want to see her is, art. Is, is there a skeptic well, camp like every week? Seems like every week. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Yeah. Is there anything east? I mean, everything's everything's out west. Is there anything? Uh, New Mexico is going to have one next, and uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, Eugene's going to have one. Buffalo, New York, will have one. Um, you're welcome to do one. I mean, I can help you do it. You got to put it on. I'm I'm I I am as yet not quite that invested in it. <laughs> well, just give me time. Yeah. Um, we went to the Magic Castle. I saw for wow. for brunch. It was totally unexpected, and we didn't have the right clothes, so uh, <laughs> we had to raid Wendy's house. It was so funny, and then we get there, and it turns out nobody really cared what we were wearing. We just went over the dress code. We had to we had to try on shoes. Uh, Peggy, not Peggy. Um, Paula had to go get shoes for us, and Wendy, we're uh, trying on all these. What shoes. kind of dress code? What kind? What's yeah, the place? The magic. Uh, it's Castle. Magic Castle. It's very strict, but on. Friday's afternoons, it's not so strict, but there's still a dress code. That's a car called a gondola. That was fun, Vincent. Did you guys like that? Was my yeah. singing? Okay? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. That was really it was different and unique. And the best part was you singing, Vincent. Yeah, hey. yeah. It wouldn't be as much fun if it wasn't you singing. Way better than anything I could have done and lots of fun Ooh, and too. very and very brave of you to do very it at brave. all. Well, <laughs> yeah. I I used to be a singer a long time ago and then just never sang again. So I there like you go. karaoke with you, trivia. You, you are out of practice, but otherwise I, it was terrific. I, I really am out of practice. I mean, I should have practiced more, but you know. When other... you do karaoke, what's your go to song? Um, there <laughs> there's there are many, but um the one that I sort of like is a Randy Travis. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. Which one? Forever? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. No, I would I, do Bohemian Rhapsody, but I don't do karaoke. But that's the only thing I know all the words to. And I can act like an idiot and sing <laughs> and dance. And nobody and everybody runs away, so it's fun. I wouldn't run away, Susan. I'd sing with you. Oh, yeah, I've only okay. Done, I've only well, done, I also do interpretive dance while I'm doing it. I've only done Lots three of people or four songs. It. I've only done three or four songs. I yeah, did. Um, see if I can't. 
I'm not uh, brave enough. Lots eight. of people are really good at it, and there's no way I'm going to. All right, go ahead. I, I, I'm looking yeah. forward to Brandy and Kyle getting together and doing a category and singing some of their favorite tunes from punk rock. Oh, punk. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really good. Well, let's hear some of uh, some of the, the hey. hard rock bands that. Uh, oh, um, oh, for Vincent. Oh, number one. Bent. Oh, yeah. Uh, Seasons of Love from Rent. Yay. Uh, the other one, number two, Let's Do the Time Warp Again. And Rocky Horror Picture Show. And again, you just had to have either or. So uh tomorrow number three and that was from annie yes uh number four my favorite things the sound of music the hills are alive yeah uh number five uh one day more is from le miserable mm. um Number six, Let It Go from Frozen. Uh, number seven, my favorite one, This Is Me, The Greatest Showman. Yay. Never oh. Number eight, <laughs> people laughed about this one. Uh, every... <laughs> that was good, too, because it was like, I gotta do this one. This, this is a this has just been added to the platform of the MAGA party, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was the, the theme of the I thought it was, Alabama I thought it was the Alabama State song. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Every sperm is sacred by Monty Python's "The Meaning of Life." Mm. Uh, and oh, I was wrong about number eleven. It's there's two in here, right? Yeah, not not one, but two. So uh, okay, uh, so number nine, colors of the wind. Is this uh, the Canadian production with the U? Yeah, with the U. Apparently, it has apparently. the extra U in it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, from Pocahontas, and I did that on purpose because I don't know, I like that. It's Canadian. Uh, the, the, Very sure. Canadian. Yeah, or and, British. Uh, <laughs> True. A little bit. Or Australian. Number, number 10 is Any Dream Will Do. Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. The amazing, amazing Technicolor amazing. Dreamcoat. Yeah. Amazing. I looked that up and I tried to see there were different ones. But mm -hmm. if you put the Amazing Color Dreamcoat, you got it. Or you just Any Dream Will Do, you got it. So... Mm -hmm. Number 11, they are theater productions, uh, except for two. Yeah, there's two. But which, are, which, are they, which are they? Except for the two. There's Frozen two and Pokemon. Are not. Frozen has so been on Frozen. Frozen's, Frozen's been on Broadway. Frozen's, 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 Frozen's a Broadway play, play, yeah. The meaning so, of life in Pocahontas. Right. Yeah, oh, that's right. Uh, okay. So Pocahontas oh, and I was right. Done? Then there's that's one. Surprising. I thought well, Frozen... The Greatest Showman is also just a movie. Just a movie. The so they're all movies <laughs> except for one. <laughs> I thought that they were. I thought, oh shoot, I should. Yeah, that's maybe what it is. They're all movies except for one, right? Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Quest. Never mind the bonus question. Doesn't matter. Never mind the bonus question. Take that. Does out. anybody need the bonus question? <laughs> no. Well, no. to get a ten. Yes. To get we a, ten, a ten, we do. <laughs> so yeah. So if you said they were all movies except one, then you get the bonus question. Oh well, that's right. Yeah, because they all were yeah. movies except okay. for one. Maybe all that's right. what you were thinking. You just forgot. Yeah, I get. I guess. I guess that was it. I was getting tired. So <laughs> yeah. Um, you were hyperventilating from all the singing. Yeah. Yeah. Force, 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 force. I did. Not Anybody not get a ten? Hey, Susan, force. Where's Susan? There she is. We did not get a 10. We, got, we, got, we only yeah, got we a 9 because we said it was all Don't, assume, don't assume everyone got 10s. That's then, why I asked. Right. Did, did anybody it makes not them get feel 10? bad then if they didn't, Kevin. It's right. That's all right. So, we're not playing for money. Everybody. Or we can lie. <laughs> hey, so pillows are going cheap today. They got zero. I didn't well, do it. 
I didn't do it. Oh, is so. that us? Nine. No, we got ten. Ten. Because we got we <laughs> got the bonus. Oops. You can leave it there. Rob, get out of here. All right. <laughs> Trump believes only twelve and a half percent of his new Bible. Ten. Without the bonus. So eleven. Yeah, eleven. Room one is room one. Um, ten without the bonus. Ooh, Jane was a <laughs> ringer. Professor just kind of rubbing it in. <laughs> and a recent survey: six out of seven dwarfs said they weren't happy. Yeah, yeah nine, nine without the bonus. Nine, yeah. nine, nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah literally nine. the other team. You guys should feel really disappointed about that. And <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Vincent. Well, thank you. That was I was a fun one. Very nervous about doing it. Very scared. I was, well, that was very original. Since the very recording and all of all of Twitter is probably watching right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is going. This is going viral, Vincent. Yeah, of course. You're probably going to get a singing gig next. What would the, yeah, uh, what viral the categories vocal tonight? But the problem is, is Vincent, no. got Vincent was so close to the originals, you're going to get a copyright violation. Film something the... different than the Mediterranean, okay. Agatha Christie, and then I call the sauce when Vincent sings. What was the okay. first one? I'm sorry. Films. It was something different about the films. Okay. Is when Mono did. Yeah. So is that going to be the category? Vincent sings? Yeah. I thought it was perfect. Oh, Vincent's vocalizations. Right. How is it Vincent's, Vincent's vocals? Vincent's vocalization volley. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Viral vocalization volley. Can't yeah. <laughs> well, I want to make I five was... V's. VVV V because V is five. Yeah. So scared. But, you know, maybe it was, it was good. I could do a category like this again, but be sing it better. Punk so. rock. Punk rock. <laughs> do punk rock. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I, I want Caspian to do his Brunch. favorite heavy metal band. Oh, you know, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Another <laughs> one that I would do so well in. Come on, Caspian. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, you guys ready for round five? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It, this is really strange. It's been a strange night because I know what I was doing. And every time I'm, I'm listening to the categories, I'm hearing hints about my category. Ah. It's weird. And it's like it's it follows Vincent's quite nicely. Um. What I have is a list of movies that have been nominated for Best Picture. Of the mm -hmm. movies I list, there's a huge list. It's like everything. 46 of them are musicals. Uh. Of those musicals, 10 actually won the Best Picture. You have to find the 10 movies that won Best Picture Oscar. Ooh. Only 10. Ooh. And I'm giving you a list of all of them that were nominated. Ooh. Out of yeah. Some of them will make perfect sense, and some will be like, "Oh, I didn't know that one." You know, I think so. so all, getting... Only ten did win. Only ten. Ten mu movie musicals yes. have won Best Picture. Oh wow! Okay. So I'm going to give you the list. I hope it goes through in one post. Yeah, I don't think it will. Too long. Okay, let's put it in a couple of them. Where do I start? Oof. Well, you guys made me feel so much better afterwards. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very good category. No one's done it before, and no one had the guts to do it before yeah. either. Nobody yeah. sang before. So, and, and, and I take it that you were wrong about your neighbor is uh, knocking on your door and complaining. <laughs> yeah, no, They're going, encore, encore. No, I'm very fortunate in that the walls here are pretty thick. So they're, I mean, they're, they're the ones that are no. <laughs> yeah, I should have narrowed this down to the forty-six. Damn it! I think Alan should do them all on his base. But I'm glad Cat could uh, come on here. I think boom, 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 I think boom, boom, I think boom, boom, somebody boom. had the. Uh, I think somebody informed her that I was going to sing tonight, and she was like, "Yeah, got it on." on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't miss that. <laughs> I was deep into uh, my brother-in-law's ancestry tree, and I'm like, oh, stop everything. Vincent's singing. I'm I'm going to trivia. <laughs> I have no idea the time of day that it was, but I'm just like, drop everything. Gotta go. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, wait a minute. Read your read your question again. The it's title. The very top. You've got. Yeah. Are there forty six movies in the <laughs> list? Yeah. Forty six. Yeah. Here's a list of movies nominated for the best picture. Forty six of them are mus uh, of these are musicals, and ten of those forty six oh. have won the best picture. I listed every one that's been nominated because I don't know how to weed out those ones without spending like hours. But now you can go through and go, oh no, uh, obviously you know that I you know that certain ones are not musicals. You know what I mean? You can just, just the whole list. So we are yeah. to identify the ten. I, the ten the that list. won best picture. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Ten that are are mostly is just and a, a, a B C D. So I know I haven't finished yet. Oh okay. <laughs> There's a well, lot of them. <laughs> uh, how many are you choosing? The ten musicals that won. Ten musicals have won best picture. How many are there? Jesus. In your list, forty six. He said, he's, well, he's got "No, it's a lot longer than forty six. Oh, it's a oh, lot God. more than forty six. Oh, Kevin, it's every it's not no movie ever nominated, every for, for regardless best of whether it's a musical or not. Oh, right, man. right. Oh, good job. Sorry, like you never saw out. Apollo guys, thirteen, the now. musical. <laughs> <laughs> I should have narrowed it down, but I didn't know how to do it. I would pay to watch that." <laughs> How about just a list of winners and which ones are musicals? Yes. <laughs> I, I well, we'll figure it. it out, you guys. Come oh, on. There's some duplicates in there just to throw you off. Uh, it might mean they've it was been two nominated years. more it than once. Up, yeah, two different, years. Different years, yeah. But there why are remakes. Guys, I have to worry about the year. While <laughs> he's posting <laughs> these, why don't you start writing down on a separate piece of paper the ones that you All think right. have won best Oscars that are. I'm a little more than halfway Musicals. through my list. And then when you look at the list, you can say this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's not that hard. Come on, we can do this. So look at the list and start yeah, I should have spent more it. time making this because I had a website that had it, and then it was only a, um, a PDF, and the next time I went to it, it blocked me. I'm like, oh, I mean, shit. it's obvious some of these are not musical, so we should yeah, be able taxi to drive the out musical. pretty quick. It knew what you were up to. <laughs> <laughs> Like Oppenheimer's on there. the bell tolls. <laughs> well, it could be a cowbell. Be a... <laughs> the bell tolls. A sort of ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Ooh, long of a message. Ooh, trying to do it more now, the musical. Yeah. Star Wars, the musical. <laughs> Isn't that just the Star Wars holiday special? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, greatest, the greatest thing ever. There's a lot of music in the holiday special, but I don't think it counts as a full feature length film. And it definitely didn't win any awards. <laughs> it, all these movies were nominated for Best Picture. Okay. Are, one, all, are, are they all in the chat? Right. Not yet. Not yet. Oh my all God. the ones that are that he's posted are so in the far. chat. So far. I want to see the musical version of Master and Commander. Yeah. Uh, I want to see the musical version great. of The Godfather's. <laughs> Oh, the Godfather! Oh, I'm, I'm God. hoping Paint Your Wagon is in this list. <laughs> yes, that, that <laughs> is a fun movie. Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers, <laughs> the musical. Out of Oppenheimer, the atomic bird. Ooh, Dun Dunkirk. That would be a real good music. <laughs> yeah, be I'm glad you guys are enjoying the Frost oh, Nixon. Uh, but we, we definitely don't want Schindler's List the musical. Oh. No. <laughs> How about Airport? Ooh, JFK. Yes, that would be a good one too. Oh my I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go to the rooms. So just find the ten winners. Yes. That I happen yes, to be Lord. We got it. We got it. I've got three. Okay. If I gave you none, if I gave you none at all to choose from, do you think you would get them? How um, many, I, how many I am hours pretty confident have? one of these that is not. So. Well, I'm just saying, if I gave you none at all, it just said find 10. I bet oh. you guys wouldn't even come up with 10 names. I would just go with the list. That, that would be easier. Send us to our rooms and so we can Mythics die. Saying to oh, us. Go to your rooms. How do I do that? Go to our rooms with the naughty. I would have said Frozen and, mm. <laughs> and uh, The Meaning of Life and Pocahontas and that's what I would have I might be giving out answers. Oh, well, I'm just guessing. Of course, I don't know that. Hey. There is one on this list that I know for a fact did not win and was nominated and is a musical, and it's La La Land because that was the year that they read the wrong movie. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, so this round could easily be make a list. just Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago going Chicago. my way. My fair lady, Oliver, West Side Story, Sound of Music. How about A Star is Born? No. No, but Chicago definitely won Best Picture. Yeah. All right. Um, An American in Paris. Yeah, I've got that on my list. Okay. The Great Ziegfeld. I never saw it. I don't know. Uh, that's that's one of the ones anatomy of a fall is definitely not a musical how about all that jazz oh. all no. that jazz is from chicago no oh. there's a movie also okay. that, that's a biography of uh yeah. the, 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 what did we say about west side story barbie, yes west Bar but barbie did not win best picture no and barbie wasn't even not was it nominated wasn't even nominated for best picture. Yeah, yeah, but but he put it on there, but it wasn't nominated. Yeah. Oliver, um, Oliver, oh, Oliver. Um, Gigi, Gigi. Is Mama Mia on here? No. Titanic. I think we have Musical. nine on the list now. Five. Did you say Gigi? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What about Funny Girl? Ooh, no. that's. That was famous. Yeah, but it it didn't win. Okay. Uh, Broadway right. Melody. The uh -huh. Ten Commandments, the musical. No. <laughs> Broadway. Yeah. Hello, Melody. Dolly. Hello, Dolly. No. Sound of Music. Um, yes. Maybe. Uh, we've got that on the list. Okay. Well, I'll make my own list. Inglorious Bastards. Where are we? Okay. Um. Six cents. Oh, Silence of the Lambs. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Les Mis did not win, did it? No. All right. So if we go with the list, Sound of Music, An American in Paris, Gigi, West Side Story, My Fair Lady, Oliver, Chicago, Going My Way. You're going Great too Thing fast. Held, and, and Broadway Melody, that's 10. Yeah, you are going too fast. I will go slower. Sound of Music. Lady. An American in Paris, Gigi, West Side Story, My Fair Lady, Oliver, Chicago, Going My Way, The Great Ziegfeld, and Broadway Melody. That's 10. Never heard of this. They're old ones. The, uh, yeah. Broadway Melody is pre-50s, I believe. So like in the third field also. But anyway, I think those are all correct. Yeah, because I'm what's Pick Nation. Okay, do it one more time. I don't know what Pick Nation Okay, is. the sound of music. Yeah. An American in Paris. Uh, yeah. PG. Yeah. West Side Story. Yeah. My Fair Lady. Oh, it's yeah. Picking. Hold up. Oliver. Oliver. Chicago. Chicago. Or as my grandparents with their heavily German accents used to it, Chicago. Okay. Going my way. Going, that's the one I'm missing. The Great Ziegfeld. The what? Great Ziegfeld. And just to clarify, we're talking My Fair Lady versus Pygmalion because Pygmalion is on this list. We're going My Pygmalion Fair Lady. Pygmalion is not a musical. Okay. okay. How about The King and I? And, that and was, Broadway Melody. That was massive. The, the King and I didn't win? No. Tarzan musical. Tarzan is not a musical. What? I think it should be. Thinking of the Disney Only concert. if Carol Burnett sings it. The <laughs> Banshees of Sharon probably should have been a musical. I'll keep cutting off my fingers if you won't leave me alone. What was that? Banshees of Sharon. It's oh, about Brad to it. Have a ah, 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 like a, a line from the song was like, I'll keep amputating my fingers if you won't leave me alone. <laughs> the Exorcist, the musical. Yeah. He cuts uh, off yeah, his fingers. He's a fiddler player. And Colin uh 
his the one of the characters is a drunk and the other guy decides to end his friendship with him and he tells him that he'll amputate his own finger so he can't play the fiddle anymore if he won't stop talking to him and they live in the small little irish town oh i've but heard of that musical that's what what's it song. called the banshees of insurance okay i did hear of that i remember that is that it's it's a really weird messed up movie but it certainly didn't win the oscar it did not, but we try to watch all the films that get nominated each year. Oppenheimer, the musical. Oh, that'd be hilarious. One flew over Cuckoo Net. I can't even, I'm picturing these being sing, sung, and that's hilarious. Well, The Color Purple was turned into a musical. Was it? Yeah, yeah. it's actually really good. And I, I've, I've seen never it. seen it. Really, really good. Um, uh, Diary of Anne Frank as a musical. Would be oh, good. that I could see. It'd be a little like that I could see that. The Exorcist, I could see that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> why? Why do you do this to me, Danny? Why? <laughs> I, 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 still want to know who who came up with the idea to put Clint Eastwood and Lee Marvin's in a movie of a musical as the leads in a musical. Who is it? I've never heard it. What are you oh, talking paint about? Paint your human wagon. Paint your wagon. Oh, I've never heard. I've it, never it, seen that. I've heard of it. I see the human it's, comedy. It's, it's actually quite a good film. Yeah, but, yeah uh, that's exactly what I was like. The human comedy. Don't they mean the human centipede? <sighs> I could see that as a musical. <laughs> Please don't shoot in my mouth. <laughs> I'm glad we have this all on video, Faith. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. We're being video. Half the time they forget, you know. This this one I can relive. <laughs> these these uh um will just keep giving and giving over the years. As, we, as we eventually we cut them up into little tiny segments. And... They won't mean anything at all. We'll put that TikTok video that uh of Faith and Romero and we'll Foot just oh, God, yeah. of watching. No, and some of it, like Social Network had a really good soundtrack. The Wizard of Oz. The, oh gosh, the Zone of have you guys need to see? Yeah, that. the Wizard of Oz didn't win. No, it didn't. I know. I don't think it won Best Picture. It was it was up against uh, Gone with the Wind for Best Picture. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's I think that was one of our trivia questions trivia. before. Why was Top Gun Maverick nominated for Best Picture? Because it had Tom. Because it was Scientology. Because it was it was a big popular movie, and there probably wasn't that much competition that year. We saw it. Remember? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Is not actually a good movie? Yeah, I read the play. That's a scary, it's just, scary. I watched it not knowing what it was about. Like when I was in my twenties, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I'm surprised you got <laughs> married after watching that. What is Z about? Z, I think. Well, that's World War Z. No, that's World War Z. No, Z is about the uh, uh, coup in Greece. Yeah, I'm curious. Is Dr. Zhivago on this list? Uh, I think it's on the okay. list. Yeah. But it wasn't a musical. Yeah, it's not a musical. Uh, Barbie is on this, and it wasn't even nominated for Best Picture. It's a musical, though, right? It is a musical. I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was great. Apocalypse Now, the musical. I could see that. Yeah, that, 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 that I could almost see. There, somebody did um, Silence, Silence of the Lambs, the musical. This was back like in two, the early 2000s. They had wrote their own, like, are you about a size 14? <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. <laughs> it's very it's very interesting. Uh, it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the holes again. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It's it, did you ever read the book? <laughs> I think they should do a category just I accidentally left the room early. I wasn't bailing on you guys. No, no, I don't I understand, understand why okay. everybody gripes and groans. So it was just fine, Kevin. We did fine. You yeah. might want to give us. I didn't a have list. a place. I didn't have a place to substitute that last one that you mentioned. 
Do you want to just take the last three off then? Okay. Kevin, you could have Here. just given us a URL and, and we could have picked off of that. Yeah, but sometimes what they did was they listed the winners on there. They highlighted. Oh, I mean, uh, take, take your own web page, copied and put it onto a, a Word doc, and yeah, I probably could have done that. That would have been easier. I thought I could cut and paste it in one shot, but I was wrong. No, oh, uh, there was way too many. Yeah. So here's the answers. Um, the very first one, 1929. You didn't have to know the years. Was the Broadway Melody. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, okay. The second one which some people thought was the first one, was The Great Zigfield, oh, 1936. Good. The next one was 1944, Going My Way. Huh. Mm. The next one is 1951, An American in Paris. Uh, the oh, next one is one? 1958, Gigi. Yay, mm. Alan. The next one is 1961, West Side Story. Yay. Yay. Finally. The next one is 1964, My Fair Lady. Yeah. Oh. The next one is 1965, The Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. The next one is 1968, Oliver. And the last one is 2002, Chicago. I am shocked. Yep. Well, shocked, I said. I thought La La Land got best. Well, that, Land that's won. the one that, that it did, did for about a one. minute. They announced that it. was the one they that read it wrong. wrong. That's the one they read wrong. Oh, and then it was Moonlighting or Moonlight. It was Moonlight. Uh, uh, moonlight. Faith knew that one, and I heard other teams I knew saying, that Oh, one. I, I, I yeah. said, Oh, Faith's on my team. I'm glad she knew that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How embarrassing. And then I haven't uh, even heard of most of these. The top link has the what hmm. they consider their ranking as the best ones in order. If you, I thought we were going to get a high score. Good category. Wow. <laughs> Dave, yeah, how many did you get well. on eight? I'm predicting eight. five to seven for most. That's, that's what I thought too. You could have. You could have. Go, go lower, Kevin. Name eight. ten musicals that have won Oscars <laughs> for the high you, school. You are aware Bill was on our team, right? <laughs> we started creating our own musicals. When Vincent was singing the Sound of Music song, I'm like, oh boy, there's goes, there goes one. <laughs> well, yeah, I think Bill didn't need the list. He just had him. Well, I had score, score. the early ones, and then when the list came up, I saw those. Scores. 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 Okie dokie, artichokies. So we're going to start right down here with pillows are going cheap today. Eight. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. That's the high score, I think. Trump wow. believes only 12.5% of his new Bible. Four. <laughs> room one is room one. Eight. Wow. Oh. <gasps> In a recent survey, six out of seven dwarfs said they aren't happy, weren't happy. Eight. Wow, you guys are smart. Wow. And literally any other team. Well, I'm I'm not sure how well the rest of us did, but Bill got 10. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 We, we tied for last place. Woohoo. Hey. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I need two volunteers for next week. I've got Jamie, Wendy. You can throw me on. Uh-huh. Who else? Okay, I'll do it. All right, Yay. Robin, do you want first or you want later? First is good. I'll do first. Okay. Or you don't have a meeting or something. Who's on first? Um, yeah. Robin's on first. Oh, you know, I do actually have a meeting, but it's, and it put me on last. It's a short, very Wh short meeting. Whopper and me, I'll, I'll bat lead off. Okay. Rabin, I almost wrote Rabin. Oh, wait, no, 4-4? Four, four? No, I got a meeting on 4-3, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> okay, all right, we got it. Okay, good job, team. Does anybody want to see this video, or you guys not want to see this video? No, we don't want to see this video. What oh, video I said? The video of us <laughs> that we recorded for, um, I have all the, the, the things we sent to people that were really, really- Oh, those are so funny. Sure. Oh, God, yeah, share the one. Oh, <laughs> you guys want to see right? them? Okay, because yeah. I gotta what did you guys think when you got them, Faith? Did, did, did you add on the reaction video I sent you? <laughs> no. Oh. I, I I said just I said just for y'all to lay off the ghost wine. 
which was the wine you weren't drinking. And didn't replies back, we didn't have wine. And I was like, we had, oh. we brought, we brought a bunch of wine and beer. We had never had it. Stephen was at our house and he had one beer. And we, and I brought the wine back because we didn't. No, sure, no sure. Right. Once they see the videos, no one's gonna believe. <laughs> no one's going to believe you. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is ten <laughs> minutes, and ten seconds, right? I, okay. Good night, everybody. Are you gonna leave Bye, the everybody. recording yep. on? Hey. Yeah. And so we're gonna, gonna keep recording. Hi, everybody. Recording. Some way that caught me. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting yeah. a little worried. <laughs> I, I, I'm, if you didn't get a video. It's okay. We we were we were. You're, you should be grateful. Yeah, we we yes. We ended up. Uh, you got to sleep that night. <laughs> well, some of the videos the next the next day they didn't send because I sent them that. over messenger. So yeah. I had to send them to you fresh on Sunday morning. I woke uh. up and I said, "Why haven't they responded?" Kenny Biddles, I, I I said, "Kenny, hey," and he says, "What?" And I said. Didn't you see my video? And he's like, yeah. And Jane says, that's the lamest answer of any of them. What, the, what, what did I, I say? Seen, what did I say? I got a video on uh, I Facebook. I, I mean, Facebook Messenger, oh, I rarely oh, check. Yeah. And if I did see a video, I probably wouldn't open it because there's so many weird videos on it. Even from me? It could be a um, especially a from you copy or whatever you call it. <laughs> this is the first I've seen it, and it really was delightful. Oh, you hadn't seen it yet. <laughs> you were braiding your hair. I was waiting for you to say, "I'll get you, my pretty," and you little oh, no. too. That would have required a little too much thought. thought. <laughs> there was zero. That's thought. what it sounded like to me. Look at cat. Look at cat. Let's all do that. Eyes, <laughs> I was surprised how green my eyes looked. Oh, like it too oh, close, it goes away. Yeah. I what did you I, do? And there I don't think I responded to you, Susan, because like you know, if people drunk dial you, you just usually ignore it. So that's what happened. <laughs> I can I can attest <laughs> that the bottle of wine like, is still, it did resemble is it, drunk dialing. Yeah, but... the, the the bottle of wine is in my cupboard, and the five that's beers normal. that are left are in my refrigerator. Yes. We did. We did not no consume any of them. So tired. Yeah. We had gone all over. We we were just we were just having so much fun. I was tired after all that pole dancing I did on the. Sunday. I'm gonna go walk That's my dog. Right. <laughs> I'll leave it on. Bye, Robin. Bye, Robin. See you, Robin. All right. Yeah. I gotta go. See if uh, I can see if I can sleep tonight after watching all that. Rob. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with imagine, that, Rob. Imagine what I'm out of here too. You don't show up. It's like oh, I'm closing my oh, eyes. Good night. Good night, Bye, all. See you all next week. Take care. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Have a groovy, groovy evening, everybody. Bye. Peace and love and all that. Bye-bye. And all that junk. Bye.